Okay, let's just go live then. Okay, Whew. let's wait for the hordes of individuals to just pour in, and hopefully it's not too slow. Might need to start shutting some tabs here, just to speed this up a tab. Let's see, what other tabs can I shut? my internet on the fritz here. Uh, YouTube is receiving lost video. Shouldn't be anything of the sort going on. I think I can stream this through here. I think I have to do it through here. Uh, I think this should work. Alright, there we go. Alright. We got two viewers, and hopefully the slowdown should be one viewer. Hopefully the slowdown should be a bit less noticeable now. Um, I don't know. Let me listen back. I think, yeah, okay. <laughs> I sound loud enough. I I can tell like just already. All right. Got a solid two viewers, that's pretty respectable. Uh, let's see. Yo Kais Zen? And uh, YouTube got... Jushin shiteru doga ga sukunai tame... Name... Rakana streaming. Eh. I mean, if there's a problem with the streaming, someone should probably let me know, eh? Huh? Ah, whatevs. I'm not streaming this. Who cares? Alright. Uh, data. Let's start this puppy, right? Uh, go easy on me, please. I haven't played this game in a long time. Okay, so yeah, this is the fighting game mode. Why the heck not? Uh, handicap me to death. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if I remember how to play this. Alright. Alright. Oh, okay. Alright. No, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to get, like, combos down, don't you? Man, I- Playing this- on a keyboard is not ideal. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. Who's doing this? Alright, here we go. Darn it. Gosh darn it. 
I forgot how you charge in this game. Do you... Yeah, okay, okay. There we go. Alright, that's how you charge. Good, good, good. I figured it out. And then this is how you jump. Alright. Alright, we're getting, we're getting there. We're getting the hang of this. I, I remember this being like my favorite mode, because it was like, oh, it's, it's like a fighting game, but on my GBA. Ah, darn it. There we go. Oh, well, I guess I won by default. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, I'm not dead yet. Who'd have thought? This is a massive shocker. How do you trapped in my psyche? Anyhow, that was the one-on-one -on -one mode. I haven't, I haven't played this game in years, let me tell you. I know it's not much worth, uh, it's not worth much uh, explaining this to the one viewer that's that's watching, but um, yeah, I used to play this game when I was a wee lad, uh, and it was quite a good game. Why the heck not? I'm starting anyway. If people come in late, they come in late, whatever. Um, I started this game, uh, got it for my birthday back in the day when I was a wee lad, because uh, I'd seen the ad in magazines. I think I saw it either in Shonen Jump or Nintendo Power, one of those things, and I was like, uh, I actually hadn't known too much about the original Dragon Ball series at the time. I had only known Z. Uh, and it was basically through playing this game that I actually started watching the original Dragon Ball, because that's what got me into the original series. It was also the fact that for a while, there was this idea in my household that if you were to play a game that's adapting a series you're familiar with, you'll only want to play the parts uh, that you knew, right? So I couldn't get any DBZ games, for example, that covered the Boo Saga because I didn't grow up with the Boo Saga. So I, I was kind of, it was kind of imposed on me the idea that it doesn't make much sense to play the games that took place in the part of the show you're not familiar with, so I'd want to play the games from like the Saiyan Saga or something, or the Namek, because, you know, that's what I knew. And so this was one of the games where it was like, you know what, enough, enough with that nonsense. You know, I'm actually going to, to play a game in a part of a franchise that I don't actually know too much about, and maybe it'll get me interested in that part, and that's pretty much what happened. Uh... So yeah, I got this game. Oh jeez, is this game expensive now? <laughs> I had no idea. Holy heck. It always bummed me that I threw out the that I threw out the boxes for a lot of the old Game Boy games. I didn't know their value at the time. Like I feel like I should have known. I have a couple of my GBA boxes for some of the games, but like most of them are sadly long gone. I wish I had known the value of them back then. Okay, so so yeah, you so there's the jump button and then there's the key button. I keep wanting to press up as jump because I'm used to that from other like GBA games I've played. So this is gonna take a little getting used to. But yeah, that's my that's my story with this game. So I recall when I was on vacation in Georgia, we went to Atlanta for one year, because every summer we used to go on vacation, some part of the east coast of America we'd go to. It was, well, some, well, there were a couple of times we went on the west, west coast, but it was generally, it was on the east coast, we'd go, uh, we'd go to places. So we went to Georgia that time, and it took a while, and I remember this was a game I played heavily on the drive there. I even printed out some, like, walkthroughs, I think from, like, game spot or like one of those places maybe ign i printed it out so that i would know what i was doing um when uh when the because it was a long drive you know driving all the way down there so that's what i did and it ended up becoming like the main thing i did on that trip because that trip was sadly not very good uh and the big deal breaker for me 
the Holiday Inn we went to didn't have any cable, so I couldn't really watch any TV the entire time I was there. I was just playing Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure the whole time. Um, and then I remember there was like some light show over by the mountain we saw, uh, and I didn't I don't remember watching that too much. I remember just playing this game. So that's really all I did on that trip. Uh, and it was... It was the best part. I do remember we visited after that. We stopped by South Carolina for a day and we stayed in a hotel there. And it was a freaking godsend just being able to watch Edda and Nettie or something. Because <laughs> I had just gone so long without cable. I was longing for cable so badly on that trip that I actually took their computer and I watched like some crappy like Naruto encode or whatever. It was like this really crappy... This was... This, the internet was so bad. Like I was trying to watch the first episode of Naruto. It was just buffering and stuttering. It, it was kind of like watching, like, me play this game right now, seeing and seeing all the slowdowns, except, like, ten times worse. But mainly what I associate with that trip now is... Oh, well, that was... <laughs> that was a really bad jump. Mainly what I associate with this game nowadays is just my crappy trip to... Uh... Georgia. Oh, I actually have all the N64 boxes, but I never grew up with one, um, because I'm kind of a zoomer. I started with the, with the GameCube era, but I will say, um, I actually do have all my boxes, because I started collecting for N64 right before the value went up, like, uh... It was around, like, the early 2010s. It was right before, like, N64 games started getting, like, ridiculously pricey. I started collecting them, and I have, like, 15 games behind me. Uh, and I always got them with the box, because I didn't... I didn't like the fact that... Oh, you can extend the power pole, I forgot about that. Uh... I didn't like the fact that the N64 games didn't have N labels, so... I actually just only got boxed N64 games, which was a bit of a hassle for some of the games, because I didn't end up picking them up, because they were, even back then, a little too expensive. Like, the original Super Smash Brothers, even back when I collected for it, uh, was... Oh, holy moly, you can do, like, a little spin there. Yeah, you can do, like, a little power pull spin. Um, even, like, the original Smash Brothers and, like, F-Zero... Well, sometimes F-Zero X was actually going for a decent price with the box. I remember one time I saw F-Zero X for, like, 20 bucks complete, uh, and I didn't pick it up. <laughs> but nowadays, the F-Zero games are probably, like, mad overpriced. Except maybe the first... Well, nah, SNES games were always overpriced, that's why I never owned one. I hate these bird enemies. They're like the bane of my existence here. Uh, can I not go in there? I don't know how. I don't remember how to get into these places. I haven't played this game in like forever. <laughs> Literally the first time I played this game in like well over a decade. Ah! Well over a decade. I see that there are two viewers now, which is pretty respectable. Glad I got another free guy though. I forgot this was an era where lives were a thing. And I'm playing this on easy, so... I'm just going to chalk it up to the fact that the way I'm playing this game is not necessarily the most... Uh, orthodox of methods. But it is a way I'm playing this game. I think I'm doing not too bad for the way I'm playing it, considering I watched back on the Naruto Ninja Council stuff I did uh, for my birthday stream, and I gotta say, man, I really sucked. I didn't even know about all the, like, the, the fact that you can just cheese Ebisu at the very beginning by pulling out the sexy jutsu on him. I just, like, completely forgot that's a thing, even though if you watched, like, the intro of the game before you press start, 
you'll see that that's a thing you can just do. That was that was a colossal failure on my part. There are other stupid things I said there, like I said that thing about the eight men. That wasn't the eight men. Those were uh, Saru's. Uh, I was talking. Gosh darn it. That wasn't Saru. Um, those weren't the eight men who were like uh, the monkeys that you fight in that Bokyaku game. Those are Saru's henchmen, and he, they show up in that arc, actually. He sends them after uh, Boka and Koko. It's like, maybe it's not Boka. It's it's like when they all show up, like they're all going to save Sayoko. Um, or wait, are they all going to save... Man, I, I like re-watched the whole show and took notes, and I still can't remember these details. My memory is just utterly failing me right now. But regardless, I did make that mix-up, and ever since then, I've just, I've thought long and hard about, like, the next time I stream, I have to make that correction, I have to say. Like, uh, that, that wasn't, <laughs> those weren't the eight men, and they were actually correct. It was the, it was the babies, having the babies there was weird, but the eight, uh, the Masaru's monkey things, like the monkey dolls, are actually correct. Those are correct enemies to have. Also, sorry if there's any lag. Uh, I'm doing the best I can. Alright, let's see. Let's see if I can make it. I finally made it across this bridge, thank god. Alright. Oh, you can kick his bombs, okay. It's interesting, because I've seen this first arc of Dragon Ball, right? I don't remember you fighting any of these wacky enemies here. Uh, I remember the Happy Meal guy. I don't remember these weird... Wait, was the Pig Pirate guy... Am I misremembering, or was that a different... I remember he fights that big thing at the beginning. He fights that other thing that makes a joke about a Happy Meal. I don't know, those, en those enemies are just like... A bunch of- they're just made to get wrecked. Not really worth remembering. Uh, oh, what's going here? What kind of capsule did I get? Oh, the radar. Nice. Alright. I should have brought some topics to talk about, um, while streaming because That'll keep the the stream consistently engaging as if I have things to say. Um, I hate these birds. That's what I'll say right now. Not not birds. I mean, I guess they're dinosaurs, but you get what I mean. You catch my vibe. Also, this is this. Whose voice is this? Is this like the actual say or is this someone else? I actually don't know. I didn't do any research. And I'm not exactly good at recognizing Japanese voices if they aren't singing. That's an interesting thing about me is like... Why am I jumping? That's an interesting thing about me, is I don't really recognize Japanese voices just from speaking. I only recognize Japanese voices from singing. Alright, when did this game come out? Uh, alright. <laughs> this game came out in 2004 in Japan, I think? 2005 in Europe. And in America, it came out in 2006. Oh yes, this is the man I'm thinking of. Yeah, he wanted to eat turtle. And Goku uh, rescues the turtle. Also, uh, howdy, J. Deku. Nice to see you here. Glad you think the game looks of interest. Um, but yeah, this is the this is like really early in the show, like episode three, I want to say. Uh, 
Yes, 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 the boss battles. Now I'm now I'm remembering this game. Ugh. I should probably not just button mash and actually bother to use some level of strategy, huh? Though, I don't think Goku can use any, like, key right now, because he didn't learn the, the Kamehameha yet. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Do they, like, show any of the racy scenes in this game? Or do they- or do they tone down Master Roshi? I'm sure- I mean, I don't remember- I think this was rated E10, so like, I can't imagine them doing too much. Okay, yeah, he just gives him the flying Nimbus, okay. He doesn't ask Bulma for many favors, does he? Or is this true to the series? All right, let's see. I'm I'm waiting in in anticipation. Oh well, <laughs> I guess not. I guess he. I guess you don't get to see Bulma give Master Roshi his reward in this game. Uh, I guess they might not want to show that into in a kids game. Fair enough. Oh yeah, I have to. I really have to worry about removing that game pack. All right, I don't remember this at all. I don't remember. I don't remember this like little map. All right, time to go to Oolong's village. Let's get rid of him. Get rid of that nasty pig. Yeah, it, it really is crazy. Just watching the original Dragon Ball after seeing, like, how, how, like, how it's changed over time. And you also get to see how many characters Toriyama just kicked to the curb. Admittedly, Oolong does kind of have a passive role in the original Dragon Ball past a certain point to begin with. And I think you run into challenges, right? Because you have, especially with Shonen Jump, you have to worry about the editor... You know, and what the editor thinks. You know, you have to worry about, like, the fan polls and all that. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can just do this. You have to worry about fan polls and all that. And, and you also want to just keep adding new elements that will make the, the story exciting. So I can't necessarily blame. I think also Toriyama might have like written himself into a bit of a into a bit of a corner in regards to the fact that the enemies keep getting stronger, right? And at, there comes a point where humans have their own set of limitations, and so you can't really you can't really find enemies that match those human limitations i suppose but i don't want to get into like the shonen community discourse where they bring up the freaking power creep and all that i hate that term <laughs> i hate the term power creep <laughs> it just it just sounds like weirdly how should i put it predatory <laughs> just like i i wouldn't want to know what a power creep would look like All right, that was really quick. I don't remember how long this game was. Uh, knowing me from back then, uh, I mean, this is still all the first arc. I remember going through the red ribbon stuff for a really long time. But uh, I'm pretty sure I beat the game. However, I don't even think I'd be able to confirm it because I'm pretty sure my save file is no more due to the 
how the Game Boy Advance battery, which is what sucks about Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, and all those, like, cartridge-based consoles, by the way, is the freaking battery dies after a while. I was loading up Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones a while back, because I was so excited to see where I had left off in that game, since I haven't played it in, like, forever. And I was really disappointed to realize the save battery is just dead. And, you know, now now I legitimately can't save using it. And I'd have to, like, solder in, like, a new battery. And it's just like, man, I don't want to solder in a new battery. <laughs> that sounds awful. I don't, I've never soldered anything in my life, okay? Probably never going to solder anything in my life. I don't intend to solder. Maybe there will be maybe there will be a day where I'll have to solder something. And then it's like, oh, I'm soldering. But uh today is not the day. I have no desire to solder anything today. Alright, time to go see Fire Mountain with the Ox King. The ferocious ox king. Yeah, it's, it's another thing, like, the Ox King just, like, becomes very passive, but, you know, he's an old man. Let the, let the Ox King have a break. Yeah, and this is when he gets taught the wave, is during the, when puts out the Ox King's fire. And, uh, Needless to say, if I recall, it, like, practically destroys the whole kingdom. But yeah. Man, I'm running out of topics already. This is really bad. <laughs> I really should have come prepared with topics. Oh well. I don't think enough folks are watching for me to really bring out my... My A game here anyway, so it's fine. It's, all right. Yeah. Yeah, see, all right. So it just starts out a little weak. And then it, I'm assuming it will get stronger as I progress in this game. I kind of wanted to try playing this game in Japanese, but quite frankly... I always want to play, like, every game in Japanese. Because I always feel like every game I'm not playing in Japanese is another place I could just be learning Japanese instead. But, you know, I'm tired, man. This was a long week. It takes, like, it takes, like, using all of your brain to, like, use another language. I get, like, so worn out from reading in Japanese, even for, like, longer than 30 minutes. Just because it's so stressful, like, trying to constantly, like, listen in a language you're not used to. <laughs> like, it's really stressful. I remember I was watching an OVA with Rags, who, uh, for those who do not know, is, you know, a friend of mine. I gave him my Discord server. You know, he's a good guy. Uh, he watches, like, a lot of random OVAs. Some of them are subbed, some of them aren't. So we watched one called, uh, it was a little Halloween one we watched during, well, Halloween, called uh, Gakko no Yude, or like, uh, Ghost of School? Ghost of School? Um, or the School's Ghost? Something like that. Uh, so we watched it, and I was surprised by like how easy it was to understand. It was like not a hard OVA. And, like, the general content, I'd say, felt to me more in line with, like, a... Oh, crap, I forgot about the security system. Uh, felt more in line with, like, something you would show your kids. Because, like, it, it was a little spooky, but, like, it wasn't, like, overly, like, violent or racy. It really did feel like something you could just show your kids. Where it's, like, scary enough, kind of like a... I don't know, kind of like Are You Afraid of the Dark or like Goosebumps, though it's a little, maybe it's a little rude to say something like that considering how like, how like not scary those things are anymore. And just considered campy. But like, 
it reminded me of something like that, where, you know, this is... This, this is a nice little OVA to watch and, like, show, like, your kids. Or something like that, but it's not... And the, and the vocabulary and the grammar wasn't particularly difficult. I had no need for that <laughs> hamburger. That was a total waste. Um... But the, it seemed overall like something you could show your kids, so I felt like... But even with that, I was watching it, right, and I understood pretty much most of it. Because I've been studying Japanese for, like, what, four years now? I started in... I started in 2017. Uh, that summer, I believe. It was a bit after I went to Anime Expo that year. I decided to pick up Japanese because of, um... Well, there were a lot of reasons I decided to pick up Japanese, but one of them was when I went to the Anison World Matsuri, uh, and I heard the performers, and they don't speak, like, almost any English. And it, they'd be talking to the crowd, and I wouldn't understand crap. Um, and so I felt like it would be nice if I could communicate in that way. There were other reasons I wanted to learn it even before then, but I think that was, like, after I went there, I kind of just seriously picked it up, and I've pretty much been consistently going since. I took a bit of a long break in 2020. I remember most of the year I just wasn't studying at all. Uh, and that's because, like, if you stop studying, it's very easy to fall into a habit of just not doing it. I let my, like, kanji notebook just sit there, I remember. And it would, and weeks would turn into months of just it not being touched. And then when you stop, it's really hard. Like, once you go back, you feel, like, so overwhelmed by all the stuff you don't remember. But I've been going pretty consistent this past year. Uh, but not... I don't think my pacing has been great. I'm still pretty slow, but I'll learn it when I learn it. It's no big deal. But yeah, that's why it would be kind of tiresome for me to try playing this in Japanese. But I would... I did want to try it. There was no option for it, though, in the options, I assume, for the NTSC copy, or maybe this is the PAL. I'm not sure. It had a number of different language options. It had, like, French, English, Spanish. I don't remember what else it had. It had a few options listed, but uh, I kind of did that before we started, so I didn't get an opportunity to see what my options were. Still not done. There we go. Oh, maybe it- maybe it- oh yeah, it spawns again when you go up there, I see. Man, I'm getting these, like, robot dogs hammering down my... Throwing down those, like, Molotovs, I guess they're supposed to be. Oh, wait, okay. You actually are supposed to go up there. It's a little misleading. I think you're supposed to start down there and then make your way up. Alright. Okay, we're going up and up. Ah! Ah, that was awful. I hate that. Oh, hey, Bernardo. Hey, Michael Owens. Hopefully you're not a spam bot. That looks... That looks like a spam comment, and I'm a little concerned. Uh, if you're not a spam bot, I'm really sorry for accusing you of being a spam bot. Oh, that was such... <laughs> that was such a bad jump. It's because of those stupid robot things throwing the cannons that just, like, threw me off. But it's, like, a beginner's mistake as well, I'm sure. Alright, there we go. Finally, we made that jump. Ah, stupid... There we go. There we go. Alright. there and there ah i really hate these freaking molotovs they're like they're so 
bothersome. But it's okay, because I got a hamburger. I'm still wondering why Peel Off and his crew or whatever just leave hamburgers around. Like, I understand them keeping, like, apples in their pockets or something. And I know it's also, like, game logic, because, you know, you'll hear people say that. You know, that was, like, the common AVGN thing with, like, the pork chop in the wall or whatever in Castlevania. And it's just, it's goofy game logic, I know. But the idea of just, like, one of Peel Off's henchmen or whatever. Or just somebody leaving. <laughs> Leaving freaking- oh, I forgot you could do that like crazy flip. Um, just leaving a hamburger around is humorous to me. Alright, let's continue. I will say, speaking of Castlevania, having these torches here constantly makes me tempted to, like, hit them. <laughs> Thinking that something's there, but like... Ugh. I got crushed by the pinball! From the from the pinball episode. Oh, now I need to go. Ah, oh, now I have to. Now I have to face this annoying pit again. Well, thankfully, thankfully I did not get hit by that. That would have been very troublesome. Taking that hamburger. I'm the hamburglar. And if I'm the hamburglar. Uh, Hamburglar, that means Ronald McDonald must be somewhere around here. And I'm gonna find out. Or maybe I'm gonna escape before I can find out. Alright. I also didn't realize that this probably is my first uh, exposure to like a proper beat-em-up game. Mostly because I just never played beat-em-ups because I'm not a... I'm not a 90s kid who grew up with, like, the freaking Super Nintendo or something. So, it always seemed to me like beat-em-ups had their heyday during, like, the SNES era. Oh, crap, crap, crap! Okay. Oh, damn. I think, uh, I think they want you to jump over it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go under there first. So how's everybody doing? Uh, hey, a thousand needles. Do I like Dragon Ball? I mean, I grew up with it, so yeah, I like it. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I mean, I I wouldn't play a game like this ironically, if that's what you're asking. I mean, there are things I don't like about the franchise. There are things I do. But yeah, I'd say I like the franchise. Why the heck not? I mean, I own a lot of paraphernalia of the franchise over the years. I think that's the term, right? Paraphernalia? Or is it just merchandise? I'm not sure. I can't English. Oh, gosh darn it. Keep running into those cameras. Alright, we're going. And here we are. I'm interested, by the way, how many of the people watching are subscribers. I mean, I'm not gonna say to, to subscribe or whatever. I don't... It doesn't really matter. I don't have any courage within me to make any content to begin with, so... There's really no point, per se, in subscribing. I'm just interested if my tag job actually did anything. And getting, like, new people to find it. Or maybe people found it through the bird app. I don't know. I don't know how many people actually pay attention to what I post on there. It would be really awkward if, like, just, like, a bunch of people I haven't talked to in years, like, constantly see my posts on the bird app and they're like, Man, I really don't want to read this piece of poops. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid posts. But then if they don't, they could always, like... But maybe they just don't have it in them to, like, unfollow me or, like, mute me or whatever. That would be interesting. Gosh darn it. I was thinking that today when I was like, oh, geez, these people still follow me? I hope. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they follow very many people either, so their likelihood of seeing my crap on their timeline is probably pretty likely. 
Assuming, like I said, they haven't muted me or anything. But it is always a bummer when, like, certain people unfollow you, because it's like, uh... Oh man, what did I do wrong? But that's why I kind of try to avoid looking up that stuff anymore. I feel like that kind of stuff breeds insecurity. And it's best to just, just to just leave it alone. And if they have a problem, they can just say it to me. Oh, I think what you're supposed to do during these parts is you're supposed to dash, like go into a dash. But I don't know quite how to dash in this game. Like, sometimes I just set it off. Yeah, like this. Okay, I think you're supposed to double tap. All right. Oh, I got the... Okay, now my... All right. I think I know what they want me to do. Want me to do this, right? There we go. Ah. Ah, darn it. <laughs> you keep canceling it out. I, I wanted to do like some different things so you just don't see me beating on these guys the same way, you know, make the make the combat a little more varied, you know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, flip them. Alright. Flip them like a hotokeki. Ah, darn it. I have to say though, I think, and maybe I just need to rewatch, uh, rewatch my Naruto Ninja Council playthrough. But I'd like to think I'm playing this game better than I was playing Naruto, because I I was playing Naruto pretty pathetically. I'd like to say, like I really do think I I screwed up on the Naruto one pretty badly. This one, at the very least, I feel like I have some knowledge. Swear to God. I feel like I have some knowledge on, like, the game's mechanics. At least in a better sense than I did with Naruto. And definitely with Bulk Yaku, man. I was so freaking bad at that game. Come on, give me some apples. There we go. Thank you. We're speed running now. Woo! All right. Ah, there we go. Woo! Oh, what is that? Hold on, I want to check chat. Oh, thanks a thousand needles. Uh, I mean, as far as you not taking me as the kind of person who would be into Dragon Ball, I mean, quite frankly, I don't really have any sort of, how should I put it? I don't really have any sort of, um, I don't have any sort of, like, limit on what I won't get into in terms of, like, uh, anime, manga, and all that stuff. I like pretty much any genre. Um, perhaps certain people, because of the kind of content I make, um, like the certain titles maybe I cover, they might expect I have like a certain favoritism towards a specific kind of thing, and maybe I do. Uh, but like, I try pretty much anything out. Like, you know, I was uh, I was watching robot shows this year, Mahal Shoujo, you know, shonen, all different kinds of stuff, really. Uh, also, they didn't- I don't think they did this yet, did they? I don't think they used these until later in the- Until, uh, what- what arc was that? That was the- Is that Fortune Teller Baba that they used those? Well, it wasn't these, it was the other ones. Because there's no- There's no, uh, chest missiles, I suppose. But I don't remember them using the, these in the sir. Maybe I'm misremembering something. Or maybe they just took creative license because they didn't want freaking Oolong using the Dragon Balls to wish for underwear. 
I don't know. <laughs> it's really anybody's guess, I suppose. Okay, these have separate health bars. I'm thinking I should try to go for some long-ranged attacks. Since this keeps using fire from a disc. Darn it! You met Ta Taya Lopez? Uh, Taya Lopez? Did I meet Taya Lopez? When was this? I don't think I was ever here in my garage. Did I say something? Wait, that sounded like Ty Lopez? Knowledge? Did I say knowledge? Oh, maybe I did. I don't remember. I just say things and then hope that I don't say anything stupid. Oh, crud, crud, crud. There we go. Ah, I missed it. Uh, can I... Can I do a power pull here? Or is it just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can use my power pull here. Some small lagging, but it'll do. But yeah, I have no real limitations on what I'll watch, or what I'll... I mean, I could get into really any kind of title. As long as it, like has something that I can point to, and I'm like, I think that's interesting. Uh, and even if there isn't anything I can point to, I'll probably still watch it. Just because, I mean, I want to become the ultimate otaku. Oh, I was talking about knowledge, I see. <laughs> uh, maybe I should try actually listening to what I'm saying after I say it. Oh. Okay, this is, yeah, this is the scene where they, they get gassed and they get trapped. Oh, no. Oh, well, I'll pick that up later. <laughs> Something fell. Alright. Alright, wait, no, maybe they will do Oolong's Wish here. <laughs> I'm not sure what they'll, what they adapt and what they didn't, because I didn't even watch any original Dragon Ball when I played this game, and knowing- Oh wow, they- they do, they do it outright! Like, this is actually more, uh, on the nose than the- than the English version is, because the English version, I believe he says, like, he just asks for the most comfortable pair of underwear. Whereas this is, like, a bit more specific. Uh, more specifically female. Uh, I can kind of respect that. Oolong, Oolong's a good guy. And by good guy, I mean he is a bit of a <laughs> coward, but there's nothing wrong with that. He's a pig, not a fighter. Alright. Uh, so I I beat the, the Pilaf saga. Uh, I mean, I did start it as a child, so, like, it's hard for me to, it's hard for me not to say that I didn't. Uh, I think, like, with the, with Dragon Ball, what's so cool about it to me is, like, how, how it kind of, um, gives us, like, an intricate timeline, and I think that Super kind of screwed this up, in my opinion, because after that, starting with Super, I feel like they got far <laughs> too comfortable with just, like, keeping very, like, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna see where that thing fell. Ugh. Eh, it's gonna take too long, I'll just let it be for now. But, I think before Super, there was a very intricate growth in the series, where it's like, seeing how the characters grow over time and as their designs change, it can feel a little gradual in a way that feels, like, natural. And what I mean by that is, you see something like the three-year time skip after the the world tournament. Or, well, no, it's it's the next world tournament. It's after the the fortune teller Baba arc, and they do the next world tournament. And you see three years have passed, but it's still young Goku. It's still young Krillin, right? But they do look slightly older, and all the characters 
Like, you're not sure at first how much they've necessarily aged, or if they've just, like, changed hairstyles and, you know, changed appearance. But then the ED, which doesn't change throughout the entire show, you see how they are when they're young, uh, younger, like, at the beginning of the series. And you can kind of see that growth, and it's it comes off a bit more blatant, and it reminds me a bit of how, like, when you see someone every day, Right, and you don't notice how they are gradually growing older over time, and how different they're looking. But then when you look at a picture, you kind of notice it. And throughout the show, I feel like that there's like a specific kind of growth to it. And with Z, it continues, and with GT, it does as well, where it's like, all the characters are like so freaking old there. And I think that kind of growth is, is neat uh, to have. And there's also this interesting thing I like, and I've always found fascinating. It's also in my favorite manga, uh, Spyro uh, Suri no Kizuna, right? Which is the, the idea, you know, of, of like any sort of antagonistic force can unexpectedly be, uh, unexpectedly become an ally at some point. And you see this a lot in Dragon Ball. I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the characters in Dragon Ball that start out on an antagonistic level. Uh, end up becoming allies. Oolong, Yamcha, uh, Tian Shinhan, uh, Launch to a certain extent, I suppose. Um, oh wait, am I supposed to, I think I was supposed to power pull up? Or maybe I, no, I think I was supposed to dash there. Uh, and then that continues on to Z with Piccolo Jr., uh, you know, Vegeta, all those characters, right? Boo. Uh, they become allies after previously being enemies, and it, that's that's one thing that was consistent, you know, with the recent uh, Broly film, and that was the last thing I had seen Dragon Ball. I actually watched that. That was a double feature. Uh, I went to go see it that night, and I went to go see uh, Kimi, o su uh, suizo, Kimi no Suizo o Tabatai. I'm saying the Japanese title to be unnecessarily cryptic sounding. But I saw both of those films at the same. Ah, I saw both of those films at the on the same day. Uh, I saw the the latter first. Oh, I can't believe it. I saw the latter first, and then I saw Dragon Ball like right after. Um, and I didn't actually. I bought two tickets, but with Dragon Ball, I paid for the child's ticket because I saw no point in just going back. And, like, checking out my ticket again. Especially since it was, like, one of those big theaters. Like, they were never gonna notice me, like, being there for a long time anyway, so... I kinda just left it, let it be. And, you know, some might say, oh, that's, you know, you shouldn't do that. But, like, I paid for the ticket. You know, some people wouldn't have, like, not paid for the ticket at all, but I did that. So, like, let me pay for the child's ticket. I don't think it was a big deal. <laughs> Let me save some money. I'm s I'm some, like, broke kid, you know? Some broke zero. I don't have this kind of money. What do I look like? Daddy Warbucks? Yeah, see, that's what you're supposed to do, is you're supposed to time it. And then... Ugh, I didn't do it correctly. But those are, like, a couple of things I think are interesting about the franchise. There's some other things. There's a lot of, like, nonsense, too, with the franchise, of course. Uh, especially in regards to, like, inconsistencies the anime uh, had. The manga, less so. Though there are inconsistencies with that as well. Oh, I got more health. Real nice. I was like, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure you do get health upgrades in this game. Alright. Oh. I really didn't think I was going to make that jump. Hmm. Let's just check the chat. Alright, nothing new here. Ah! Alright, good, good, good. Ah! I fell, like, right into the trap. All, you know, 
you uh, what was it? Like the you fell right into my Otokonoko card or whatever. <laughs> There we go, that's the sprint I had intended to do before. Ooh. Yeah, I don't remember how you unlock those doors in the game. I will say, you know, me saying, oh, this game is weirdly easy. Maybe I'm not we weirdly good at this game. Maybe I'm just playing it on easy mode and that's why I'm you know, playing decently. But I'd like to think even just my knowledge of the mechanics is a bit better than, than my knowledge in Ninja Council, but I also have a bit more fond memories playing this game compared to Naruto Ninja Council. No offense to Ninja Council, you know, I, I did enjoy that game when I was a kid, but I didn't play it like non-stop on vacation to Georgia like I did with Advanced Adventure. I don't think I played it at all. I don't think I had it when I went to... Maybe I did. Actually, yeah, I probably did have it. I probably had already beaten it at that point, to be honest. Or wait, was it Ninja Council 1 I beat? Yeah, yeah, I beat the first game. I did. It was a long time ago, man. <laughs> have to remember, like, whether or not I've beaten these, like, old Game Boy Advance games. Alright, what do I get for my troubles? I don't remember what that kanji means. I looked it up a while ago. <sighs> Alright. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is back when, uh, yeah. Krillin, like, fakes him out. Now I gotta go chase him down. Really impressed if he just like crossed that bridge so quickly. Gosh darn it. There's a time limit on me too. I have a whopping 300 seconds to do all this. Yeah, toss that. <laughs> toss that mammal. I think it's supposed to be like a wolf or a dog or something. Toss it. Alright. Alright. Man, he's really fast. He, like, avoided all of these enemies, too. Or maybe he, like, sicked them on me. Alright, I'll just wait for it to go. Ooh. I don't know what that did. Oh, does that give me, like, invincibility or something? I think that's what that does. Yeah. Yeah, see? Not so invincible anymore. Alright. Oh, we speed and th Oh, I jinxed that. Ah. There we go. That was the sprint I wanted to... Let me get my free man. Do people even still call, like, extra lives free man? Like a free man or a free guy? Do people still- Ah! Well, at least I put that free guy to use. <laughs> um, do people even do that anymore? Don't tell me I have to start this- Yeah, I do. Blame. Well, <laughs> Uh, that was a massive L. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought it was cool. Uh, though I actually, funny thing about that, I actually watched... <laughs> oh man, I have to focus. Um, funny thing about that, I actually watched GT first, out of all of them. Uh, because that was on TV. That just so happened to be on TV at the time. Now, I knew of DBZ growing up, and I think I caught it when I was, like, a toddler or something. I remember... I remember watching it. 
Uh, this is... Never mind what I said about me being good at this game anymore. Oh crap, I have to start this all over? Alright, let's see if I can speed through this. Not gonna... Not gonna, like, do as much as I did before. Uh, but like... Oh, I can just skip it, okay. There we go. Oh. How did I time that jump so badly? Ugh. This is not going so well. But yeah, it, uh, I recall watching DBZ when I was like a wee toddler, but I don't remember anything about it. Like, at all. I just remember I was talking to my dad one time. Because that was before he used to work. Uh, and he'd like, watch me when I was a wee lad, and I remember telling him, Dragon Ball Z is over. That's all I remember, but I don't remember when in the show it was, I don't remember what happened. Uh, I don't even know if I could comprehend anything that was going on. All I know is just, I said it was over. Since the show apparently had completed its episode. Uh, but the first one I was conscious of watching was GT. Uh, and that one, I also had no idea what was going on. I was just wondering why they were calling Goku Grandpa when he was, like, a little kid. I was like, why is Pan calling him Grandpa? My Grandpa doesn't look like that. That's what I remember saying. And then I got really into DBZ, like, a year later, I want to say. With the, with the uncut version, because it made me feel like a big kid. Yeah, that reminds me of the commercial with DBZ for the, for the Burger King Big Kids meal. I've never actually ordered a Burger King get Big Kids meal, because just order the regular adult meal then if I wanted to be a big kid. I don't remember. I'm sure I got the kid's meal at some point, because I wanted some of those toys. But I don't... I don't have, like, any of those toys anymore. Most of those are not mine. Like, we have the... We have when the, when the Backstreet Boys had, like, action figures. Burger King. That was, like, really old, though. Th those weren't mine. Because uh, that was a bit before my time, but... And we had the Pokemon, like, the Golden... Poly world or whatever. We have that somewhere. That also is not mine. Those were like a few of the random Burger King toys I had. Like, lying around my house. I remember I got into a bit of a discussion a while back about like kids meal toys, but I don't remember what I said about it. Sure, it was something about it. But I do enjoy that kind of nostalgic media, uh, even though. Ugh! Even though I feel like. I don't actually know if that movie's called Free Guy. Also, is the delay really that bad on this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, like, what I'm up to here. I'm sure the delay is, like, a decent amount. Oh, this lag is gonna be the end of me. Alright. Let's... Let's go before the lag can get me. Good, good, good. But, uh... I do find nostalgic media pretty fascinating, even though, even though, um, I feel like my time for being nostalgic has long since come and gone. I don't feel nearly as nostalgic for most things anymore, sadly. And my reason for that, uh, is a bit personal, so I can't really get too much into it, but 
I always do feel like, eh, I don't know if there really is. Eh, maybe I shouldn't say that. Ugh! Maybe I shouldn't say that, because that'll change the tone of this. I, I don't want to do this anymore. Let's see, let's see how good I am at this combat part. I did this earlier, but I think, like, no one was watching while I was doing it. Um. Honestly, like. It was just the kind of thing where it's like, eh, I don't know if I feel nostalgic anymore for most things. Because then I remember all the bad times that come with <laughs> those time time periods, and then it's like, eh, I don't know if I want to deal with that again. And I don't know if I'd be well equipped to deal with it knowing what I know now either. Ah, you pulled a fast one on me, I see. Uh, the great thing is, right, so there's, like, these battles. I don't remember, like, w how you unlock the other characters. I think it's through playing more of the story mode. You unlock more of the characters, but I really don't remember. But I remember this this section of the game just was so exciting to me, because I loved, I loved anime fighting games, but I really only played them on the console. Like, anime fighting games were, like... <laughs> Something I had a great passion for. Uh, there was there was anime fighting games. There was uh, I I kind of want to try my hand at this again. And there is also anime card games I was really into. Like obviously, you know, the Yu-Gi-Oh card game was very big, and I I do have some memories of playing that with, you know, the neighbors around my block, but I'm talking about the card games that I didn't actually play, or I didn't know anyone that played, I should say, and that's why I didn't play them, because no one I knew owned them. I was the only person who cared about these card games. And I did own some, some DBZ cards, but, like, no one I knew cared about those cards. So it was, like, with all those card games. It's like, I was really excited about these card games. And I'd try to track down the packs. I was I was explaining this with uh, a few other folks in a server about how, like, I used to collect all these cards. And it was such a lonely thing because no one I knew was into these games. I still... I'm so bad at this game. This, like, the platforming here... I'm really bad at, like, being overwhelmed with all these freaking enemies. Get out of my sight. Maybe- maybe that's the problem. I should actually fight these enemies so that- I don't want to take too long. Oh, this is just a burger. This isn't a free man. But, like, no one I knew was into these games. So it's not like I had anyone to indulge in my passions of that. And it was uh, another thing, these were these card games were super hard to track down. Like I remember some of the like the new booster packs they'd advertise for like it would be like for the One Piece card game or something or for like the Zatch Bell card game. They would advertise these. And then I would not find them like anywhere. Like no stores had it. I'd go to Target, I'd go to all three different places. Toys R Us, you know, I'd go to the local comic book shop, and some of those places just wouldn't have these new packs. Like, like you'd say, one day they'd be there, and then the next day, they just wouldn't be. They just, and some, and I would want to know who were the people who bought these, because as far as I'm concerned, I thought it was just me. I felt like I was the only one who was buying these card games. I remember I got that second, I was, I was so passionate about these card games. I remember, I would save the, the, like, the packaging that they came in. 
Like the booster packs. Because I knew that this was probably the last time I was seeing those booster packs. Uh, I actually still have those somewhere. It's, it's probably in the... In the bin over by me. Uh, I'll have to check it some other time, but... I was like, man, you know, these are probably the last time I'm seeing these cards. So I should save these booster packs. I wish I had that same mindset about, like, Game Boy Advance cases that I mentioned earlier. But with those booster packs, I really did feel like, you know... Like, it was just... It was just a dead end, collecting these games. No one played the card game. You know, I wanted to collect all the cards, but it was the thing of, like, how can you collect a bunch of cards? When you don't even see the booster packs, and it's like... You could get a starter set, but those always had the same cards. Like, it wasn't a random set of cards that they'd start with. It was, like, a very specific set. If you get, like, the starter set with, like, the collector's items and all that. So, what it came down to, to me... Ah, oh, thank god. What it came down to, to me, was just, like... It was just depressing now that I think back on it. Like, I'm nostalgic for, you know, when I went to my sister's softball game and I was looking at the, the like, ten cards I purchased or whatever. But, you know, looking back on it, it was a lonely game. But it was necessary, so, you know, that's all that can be said. Maybe I'll finally beat this, this uh, level this time. Nope. <laughs> I jinxed that immediately, real nice. That sucks. Wish there was... You know, I could I could take the easy way out here and save state, but... Quite frankly... Not sure what I'd do if not play through this level over and over. And forget what I said before about this game being easy, by the way. Even on easy settings, these platforming, this this platforming section is a bit of a doozy. The only reason it's a bit of a doozy is because I'm not using the most ideal way to even play this game in the first place. But it is okay. I will find a way to beat this. I assure you. Yeah, they had screenshots from the show. They were like these little... I had... I forget, they had, like, Dragon Ball Z on it, like, in this weird, weird font. Ugh, these freaking dinosaurs are killing me. I hate these stupid dinosaurs. They suck so much. I hate them. And you can, like, barely attack them because they're, like, so high up. You have to freaking, like, jump all around the place. Ugh, I hate these dinosaurs. I hate them. Kill them all! You stupid dinosaurs. These are the things that are costing me the game. I don't even really see the point, in all honesty, of like playing with only one life to begin with. I'm just gonna try again. Because there's like no point if you don't have all three. But yeah, they did have screenshots from the show. I remember that. I I don't even know. I didn't even buy them, by the way. Uh, my mom was at was like over like shopping one time after dinner. She was at Target, and I remember I was watching. It was like Saturday night or whatever, and I was watching something on TV. It was just relaxing. And then my mom comes home, and she's like, Oh, you know, I saw they had, you know, Dragon Ball Z cards, and I know how you like collecting cards. So I decided to get them, and I was like, oh, that's nice. So I have no idea. I assume it was Target she found them, but, like, I'm sure if I asked her where she got them now, she probably wouldn't even remember she bought them. So, I don't even remember exactly the specifics on, like, the packaging or anything. Maybe if I look up online, I could find 
what it looked like exactly. I'm sure they still have, like, some sealed copies. They always do. Like, it's amazing to think of how many things will just never be opened. Uh. Oh, there we go. Ah, that was a very silly mistake there, my part. There we go. Oh wait, oops. I actually thought this was- wait, I have to go- yeah, I have to go on the bridge here. And then the second bridge. Before- Just gotta make the second bridge. I have to do it with complete concentration. We're approaching it. After this. After this. How did I sprint there? That's so stupid. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm done with this. This is so annoying. I don't care. This is really frustrating. I forgot I could go just go to this map here. Can I just hang out here? Oh wait, no, you just replay the parts. Alright, that's how this works. Which reminds me, that means I can like wreck Yamcha with uh, one of these one of these moves. So I didn't realize you could use your power pull like that. I completely forgot about the, the power pull super move. Maybe I'm also getting really tired. I'm not sure if one is coinciding with the other here. Uh, whatever the Naruto games looked like this. I just remember the Ninja Council games, but there are other ones that I did not play. <laughs> I thought- I really liked this game growing up, uh, and I still think it's a fun game. I just really don't want to keep playing through this freaking Kame House level. <laughs> it's just driving me up a wall. Uh, ba 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 I didn't mean to. How do I go back to the main menu again? Yeah, that's the power pole here. Uh, yeah, whew, I'm really gosh darn tired. This was a bit, um, the stream wasn't that big of a deal, so I'm probably not gonna save it, but, hmm, actually, eh, why the heck not, uh, let's see, what can I do here, pressing, I can't press A, I can't press start, I can't press select, so I guess I can't go back? Yeah, I guess you can't unless you just die, so I guess I'll just die. Get crushed by the pinball. Uh, the other thing I remember about this game is that the Goku health bar there, where it says his name Goku, I remember them spelling his name wrong. Also, this Link mode, you see, 
You could use the Link mode to actually do the fighting game mode in this. But with uh, Link cables. The problem is with uh, GBA Link cables, you always needed multiple cartridges, right? So like, you know, each person had to have their own cartridge. And the thing is, I don't remember anyone who owned this game, like ever. I never met a single soul who ever owned this game. Quite frankly, I'm mildly curious, and so I'm going to investigate right now um, exactly uh, what this game goes for, because I'm told it went for like $80 on eBay now. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, it really does go for a lot of money. Holy heck. I didn't realize like this game was like a big deal now. Holy moly. Jeez, and that's that's like cart only. It's going for a hundred. Jeez, I didn't realize. I had no idea. I thought this was just a game I played that I liked. I didn't know that this game had like demands. This is news to me. Huh. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should head out now, or if I should still stick around and do something else. Do let me know if you think I should head out now, or if I should do something else. Uh, because, uh, I mean, it's still kind of early for me. I intended to go much longer, but I can see that it's a bit of a dead night tonight. I probably picked a bad night to do this. Which is fine with me, you know, you win some, you lose some. I've only been going for like a bit over an hour right now, from the looks of it, an hour 21. Uh, but I don't really have much else to say right now. Uh, I do have a copy, it's, uh, I, um, it's still downstairs somewhere, it's in the bin or whatever. Uh, I didn't... I didn't really get rid of pretty much any of my games. It was my sister who, like, sold a few games. She sold freaking... She sold freaking Chibi Robo. That bummed me. I never got to play Chibi Robo because she sold it before I could get it. Uh, get to play it. <laughs> and that was, like, a mad bummer. I was like, man, I wanted to play Chibi Robo. But she sold... And, and the thing... The thing of when she sold it... She didn't sell it when it was, like, going for a lot of money, by the way. She sold it, like, I don't know, maybe, like, a year after it came out. Like, <laughs> because at the time she needed money for some reason. I forget what reason. Probably something to do with, like, high school or something. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I was just like... It was an, there were a few other games she sold. She sold Luigi's Mansion, which I bought back later. Like, I bought another copy. It'd be interesting to know if the copy I have right now just so happens to be the copy that, <laughs> that she sold back then. That would be interesting. Uh... I don't remember what else. There were a couple other GameCube games. Like, all the GameCube games I bought back then, I still own. Something more fun to do. I don't... I don't do things that are fun, though. I do things that are unfun. I'm okay with one random dude commenting. I mean, I had to stream right now because... If I don't make a video of some kind, I lose my YouTube partnership. That's the whole reason I streamed. I 
end, I wanted to do it Tuesday, but Rags bailed on me and he didn't say anything, which was kind of a bit sad to me. Like, you know, if he didn't have time to, like, stream that night, even though he agreed to stream with me that night, it kind of bummed me, because it was like, man, <laughs> you know, if you if you didn't want to stream that night, you should have told me beforehand. Hey, Hayden, I was vaguely alluding to you earlier, and by vaguely alluding to, I mean I brought up the fact that I just so happened to bring up where you frequent that, uh, that I used to collect cards of different series. Uh, actually, I kind of want to do the fighting game mode again. Let's make- oh, oh, this'll be fun. Let's make me insanely underpowered, and then let's make Krillin insanely overpowered. Let's make the time infinite. Sadly, I didn't unlock any other characters in my measly playthrough, so we're gonna have to settle for this. Oh, can I- wait, yeah, there's no way I can use my power pole. The World Tournament forbids the use of weapons. It's all fisticuffs, man. Alright, alright. Pop, pop, pop. Ah, oh, I got hockeyed. Oh, absolute clown show. Yeah, I was talking about card collecting. I was talking about how I used to collect all these anime trading cards for like these shonen series, but I was I was the only person I knew who collected these cards, so it was kind of a waste because these were actual trading card games. I mean, they expected you to play the games, but it's like. No one I knew played these games. No one I knew cared, you know? It was just me. In fact, it was so little people that it was hard to even find these at stores. I'd see the commercials on TV, and I would say to myself, you know, I gotta get my hands on these cards. And I would go to every store in town and see if they were there that day. I would go with my old man, and you know... Thank God for Jeff Bezos, I gotta say. It was Jeff Bezos' place that I got most of those cards. He got me, like, a bunch for my birthday that year. It was the same year I got Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure, funnily enough. And it was the same year I got my butt kicked to, to Krillin at the World Tournament. See if I can actually win. Uh, But there, I, I can think back of one day in particular I went to, like, Toys R Us, and then my old man was like, try going to Kmart, and then we went to Kmart, and then it's like, let's try going to Target, let's try going to, t to like, Best Buy, let's try going to the comic book store. We went, like, everywhere, man. We could not find those cards. They were just, they were so elusive. And, you know, when I'd see that cards would go away, I have to wonder, like, who are these people that are buying them, and can we become friends? So I didn't know anyone who was into any of my interests. My neighbors would make fun of me. They would tell me, man, you know, these shows are lame. Seth MacFarlane comedy shows are where it's at, man. And I was like, I'm not lame. Take that back. Oh, I got him cornered. Let's see if I can totally cheese it. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I'm mean, gonna... That, that... I, I do wonder if people could do, like, fighting game turn... Well, maybe, maybe not, because I don't think this game is complex enough. Like, it, it pretty much comes down to, like, a few different maneuvers. But it would be interesting to see people try to play this game competitively, where they get, like, their link cables and their GBAs. I think it'd be cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna win. Krill won 2 OP. Oh! 
Did I dox Hayden? <laughs> I didn't think I doxed Hayden. Oh crap, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to get the time to 60, there's no way I'm gonna finish in time. Oh, but I'm, I'm glad you've been also thinking about card games. I know, I know you, like me, are a Zoomer that is into all this kind of collectible stuff. Though I don't know if we're too similar in that regard as, you know, we're not really from the same era, I don't think. Uh, but you know, that's fine. You don't have to be. You know, that's what makes me cool and that's what makes you cool is, you know, we're our own distinct characters. Uh, well, maybe that's not what makes me cool, but that is what makes you cool, is the fact that, you know, you're your own guy making your own pie. I think that's cool, anyway. Yeah, there's no way- I don't know how you would even be able to finish this. Like, it's- it's amazing to think that I would, I would like, lose by default just by having less of a health bar. It, like, wouldn't even be based off damage at that point. Alright, here we are. Alright. I took the mighty L, mighty L there. Uh, I mean, it's not a matter of what era we indulge in. I think, like, the... I think because of the fact that, like, the... I was a little pre-YouTube, I'd say. Whereas you were maybe a little, uh... A little more... Like, I was, I was pretty to early YouTube, whereas maybe you were early YouTube to, like, I don't know, maybe, like, uh, later YouTube, I'm, I'd say, but I'm not sure. I mean, I can let you, uh, say that, I guess. Uh, but that's just what I remember. I mean, the thing is, right, a lot of things, they do rerun, so... Even if, like, and I mean, especially now with the internet, there's always, you know, a new time to get into things. There are, people are always just finding new things to care about, and I think that's cool. I mean, even if something's, like, decades old or whatever, you know, it'll be new to them. I mean, it's even the case with what I'm playing now. I mean, this is an adaptation of, like, something that came out, like, 20 years prior. Probably a little less, but... You know, an older property, nonetheless. But, there's the thing I hate... And this has always annoyed me. I've always had a consistent rivalry with 90s kids. I've explained it a few times in regards to the, the dreaded Pokemon Freeze dance. That, that's like one of my ultimate childhood traumas that I will gladly bring up is the Pokemon Freeze Dance. I was in Nintendo World in New York, uh, and they suggested to play the Pokemon Freeze Dance. So I did sign up for the Pokemon Freeze Dance. Well, I didn't sign up, they picked me for the Pokemon Freeze Dance. And you know, I thought I had it all there. I thought I was gonna be on top. I was, I was but a wee lad at the time. You know, and I was like, I can dance, I can freeze, I can play po po Pokemon Freeze Dance. I forgot what songs they were playing with Pokemon Freeze Dance, it was such a long time ago. But, but let me tell you, my chances were, I get to win a prize. That prize will go undisclosed, because it'll make me sound like, it'll definitely show my age if I bring up what the prize was. But like, regardless, the prize was... Something of value if you were familiar with Pokemon at time at the time and it would have made me look like the coolest kid in school I was really excited. I couldn't wait So, you know, I I got to the Pokemon freeze dance. I got up on stage that time And I said to myself, you know, I'm gonna win. That's what I told myself at the time You know my my old man my sister they were watching me as I was getting ready 
I danced, I froze, but needless to say, there were people in the crowd. The pressure was on, sweat was dripping down. Well, actually it wasn't, this was like November. No sweat was dripping down. It was cold out. But regardless, I, I was very nervous. My nerves got the better of me. As these lousy 90s kids screamed at these like eight, probably even like eight or younger year olds. <laughs> these 90s kids just would not have it. They said in a loud voice, he moved, she moved. They were trying to eliminate the competition. It was awful. Those 90s kids, they did that. They blew my cover. They got me to lose. I got but a consolation prize at the time. Uh, one that I still use, actually. It was the Nintendo keychain. I use that on my keys. But even so, even with that consolation prize, that ended in failure. I was so bummed. I couldn't believe those 90s kids blew my chance at the victory. And ever since then, I've had a bit of an animosity towards 90s kids. I tried to join their side at one point. You know, I tried to be like, oh, you know, 90s, pretty cool. But, like, after... I, I always had bad vibes ever since that interaction. But, you know, even when, when I tried joining their side and then they, like, freaking gassed me, it was after that. When it was all like, oh, you can't, you can't enjoy our products if you didn't grow up in 1995 or whatever. Well, it's like, sorry, I wasn't alive in 1995 to enjoy freaking Doug. Sorry. <laughs> you know, God forbid people actually enjoy the things you're nostalgic for. Stupid 90s kids. 90s kids are awful. I hate them. Alright, maybe hate is a strong word, but I have strong levels of animosity towards 90s kids ever since freaking Pokemon Freeze Dance, and it carried over to the freaking nostalgia era of the late 2000s. Oh, okay, so maybe we, we were on YouTube at around the same time then. Yeah, Millennials are pretty annoying. Uh, I don't know any Millennials that have boasted about land, though. But I also haven't looked for them, to be fair. Beboop I've seen. Uh, Beboop... I don't know, that whole Adult Swim era... That's why, that's why I also have problems with Bennett the Sage outside of, like, obvious reasons. And today I was just thinking, you know, I made a bit of my peace with Bennett the Sage considering, you know, his anime impact articles were admittedly not bad compared to most of the other articles in there. But the reason I've always had problems with Bennett the Sage is I always feel like he reinforces, like, the era that I would see on freaking forums of, like, these certain ideas of what is bad and good. Also, why am I getting wrecked this time? Feels like... Um, maybe, maybe because I'm just so impassioned with what I'm talking about, I can barely fight Krillin, but... I was thinking to myself, you know, when Bennett the Sage, uh, talks about certain titles, the way he talks about them just reminds me of those freaking forums that I that I would see like back in the early 2010s, back when I started being, you know, who I am today. And I would see it reinforced on all these forums. And I'm like, "Man, I I really don't want couldn't <laughs> couldn't these ideas just die with the forums? Did I really need to see them, you know, thrown back at me?" All these years later, in a Bennett the Sage video, you know. Just left there for all to remember. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just some guy's opinion, whatever. But, like, you know, I... I didn't want to feel some set of anti-nostalgia for forum posts I saw back in the day, okay? I wasn't into it.
Yeah, I mean, you can be aware of things. The thing people don't realize about kids on the internet is you can, like, lie about your age and you can go to certain places that people would assume you weren't around for. I mean, that was the thing with that annoying guy who, like, harassed me this past year, is he was asking me all these questions and, like, freaking how I knew about Mal at this age or whatever. I was like, oh, you were only 10. How did you find out about Mal? Do 10-year-olds just not use the web? Do they not look up anime? Do 10-year-olds not watch anime? Would they not find my anime list one of the biggest platforms there is? <laughs> for viewing anime on the internet. I mean, even in 2014, it was pretty easy to find Mal. Like, what? <sighs> like, people assume you're just some, like, freaking dunderhead when you're, like, 10 and you don't know how to, how to use Google. It's there. You can use it. <laughs> you can type letters into the keyboard on the search engine, and those letters will form words that will lead you to websites you can access. It's not like, oh man, I'm an adult now, now I can actually use the web. Like, what is this? It's just so stupid. Maybe I'm a teenager, I don't know what their cutoff date is exactly. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, who's here? Uh, it's, uh, Miri, uh, Hongu. Oh, hey, Hongu. Uh, I'm playing some- sh I'm streaming something right now. Oh, what are you streaming? Oh, I'm streaming Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure for the Game Boy Advance. Are you streaming this to your YouTube channel? CC? Oh, shoot. Yeah, Hello. sorry, Hongu. Hello, uh, Roger Smith 2004 fanbase. Oh, like, no one's watching right now, it's like six people. Oh, I don't want to say no one, that's a little rude, but, you know. Yeah, it's a little rude to the fan base. The yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's very rude, I, I, apolo base. I apologize. But yeah. I was on Ooh, Malin Krillin is getting his ass beat, holy shit. <laughs> Alright, I finally have gotten decent at this fighting game. But yeah, I got Mal in 2013, but uh, the account I use now, I made in 2014. I used a different account back then, but I didn't know you could change usernames at the time, so I just made a new one. Alright, let's see if I can actually beat this now. I was getting my booty beat by this level. Uh. Well, Krillin is... Getting his ass dropped right now. Oh yeah, I'm I'm done with that. <laughs> the the stream lag. I, I was trying to stream it on Discord proper, but that just made the lag in the game just unbearable. I don't think my I don't think my poop internet can handle it and my poop computer. I'm playing this on a keyboard, by the way, you know. I was alluding to it before, but I am I now that you're here, Hongu. Wink wink. Uh I can say with all honesty, you know, I am playing this with a keyboard, so it's um, not- I do need to let you know, I'm not Hongu. Oh shoot, could've fooled me. You sound like Hongu apparently to me. I, apparently I did fool you, I know. Uh, so who are you then? Are you, uh, are you sheep? I'm meta. Oh, meta, okay. Yeah, sorry, Meta, I didn't play Super Sonic Warriors, but I thought you would have... I, I did I did get Super Sonic Warriors for you, because you were all like, oh, you should stream Super Sonic Warriors, but I've never played Super Sonic Warriors. Uh, but I figured, if Meta was here, uh, I would play Super Sonic Warriors, because he grew up with it, and I wanted to make him happy. That's what wow. I said. Wow, Meta sounds like a crazy guy. Yeah, he's the guy who pretends to not, to, he pretends to, like, have Hidamari Sketch not be his favorite.
anime. He's all like, it's not my favorite, in spite of the fact that he, like, posts it all the time. And watches it all the time. And discusses it all the time. Yeah. I always remember that he had this really interesting take. That I've never heard. Oh, yeah, on Oriski. Yeah, I think it's time for me to tell you the take. Oh. Uh, well, I actually heard the take. I know the take on Orski. It was you who didn't know the take on Orski. What? Yeah, I knew what, do you what mean? his take I meta. I meta. What are you talking about? Yeah, you <laughs> seem to not remember your take on Orski, and I remember it. That That's the whole gimmick. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I knew that. Because, <laughs> uh, I'm meta. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna have to face reveal for real this time. I'm uh, actually scrolls. Oh, you're the Visk man. Yeah. Mondo, cool. I'm sorry for lying to you twice. Oh, I can live with it. I mean, I was already lied to by my family. Being lied to by scrolls is nothing by comparison. Wow. What a bunch of hockey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to, uh to hear that. Eh. No! Oh, I'm, I'm never gonna beat this. This is just This reminds like... me of like a, like, a, like a NES game, even though it's on the Game Boy. These Game Boy games were not easy. Yeah, I, I played this game all the time back in the day. I was talking about my history with this wonderful game. Uh... I mean, it, to me, it, it does feel like that old school, like, SNES beat em up vibe. Well, it definitely does have the level difficulty. I'm playing this on easy, by the way. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you know. This game seems pretty unforgiving. Um, it's honestly, it probably wouldn't be as bad if I wasn't playing it on a keyboard. And if I also wasn't trying to speedrun it practically. I think because I'm not taking it slow and steady, that's why I'm so bad. Alright. You're not supposed to get, play games slow, that's why people speedrun games. Yeah, but those people so. probably have like played this game like 50 ways over. No, they've only played it fast. That's why they're speedrunners. See. Speedrunners do not play games slow. It says it right here in my script. Well, yeah, they, yeah, that's why it's speedrun. But, like, they've played it so many times that they can play it fast is the thing. Like, they know all the shortcuts. They all they know all the trip, tips and tricks. I do watch a lot of speedrunners because it is kind of like magic. Like, when, when they're so good at a game, they just, like, breeze past it. Looks like I am a person. the game. Sometimes it just looks like they're, they're like, trying to rip open the fabric of the universe. <laughs> That's exactly what it feels like at times. Alright. Alright. Uh, uh. Did I finally- like people who do, like, Sonic speedruns. Yo! Thanks for being here, Skrulls. I think you being here is what actually got me to complete this. That makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I helped you. Now I have to wreck Krillin a second time. You can do it. You beat his ass once. Oh, yeah, I can do that. When it's the when it's the World Martial Arts tournament, tournament, I can't use my power pole sadly, but now that it ain't, I can do whatever the heck I want. What are they going to do to me? Call the cops? No way. Yeah. And it's crazy seeing Dragon Ball. Yeah, I know, right? People even know this was a franchise anymore. Well, like people play Dragon Ball Fighters, but it's funny they have Kid Goku, but they're just like, this is this is like Goku from GT. So, like, <laughs> he goes Super Saiyan 4. I'm just like, man, I can't wait, oh, wait to, have, oh, I have like, to destroy these rocks. Like, original Dragon Ball characters and fighters. That'd be kind of funny. 
Yeah, I think they should. I I know, the, like the now, like the uh, some of them are around for so short. Like the pacing in DBZ is a lot slower than in Dragon Ball, so you spend more time with some of these characters where it feels like some of these Dragon Ball fighters are there for like two episodes and then they're just gone. Well, I mean, Krillin, I don't think, is in the game. Really? Wait, no, 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 he, he is. He is, my bad. I think, uh, I gotta open up the game and make sure, though. Because uh, when you play online, it doesn't actually show you the character select screen. You just kind of have to, like, pray. You just kind of huh. pray and... You, you just, like, you look at, at, like, a list that just goes down. It's, it's really confusing. But it's an Arc System Works fighting game, so, like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't oh, played any of the Dragon Ball fighters since, like, Budokai Tenkai EG3. Oh man, those games are fire, man. Yeah. In my memory. Oh, I don't ever want to touch them. Like, I. That's like one of those games where I know for a fact I'd feel so differently if I played them today. Uh. I'm told they still hold up, but I haven't played them in forever. Well, yeah. I mean, I just expect Naruto Ninja Storm kind of vibe, but. With Dragon Ball. Oh, uh, see, I haven't played any Naruto fighters since Clash of Ninja on the GameCube, the second one. Wow. Uh, well, no, I played Ultimate Ninja 2 as well for a PS2. Uh, I, uh, I played it one time at, like, a Smash tournament. The one Smash tournament I entered, they also had the Naruto, um, like, but I, I played it for, like, I played it for, like, an hour or two. Uh, it's like, wow. Here's what I have very... to say to that. Oh my god, you like Naruto? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Not... I got the newest, uh, one of the newest ones. I got Naruto the Boruto with Shinobi Striker. Oh, hell yeah, you get that's to play as really Naruto's son. Game. Yeah, I don't know. That, that, that's not really a fighting game, though, to my knowledge. So, it is a little bit, um... How do I put it? It's a little disappointing. Oh. Man, I used to be into all those kinds of anime tie-in games back in the day. Nowadays, I don't know of, like, any of them. I just know, like, they had the... Last time I went to Comic-Con, which was a couple of years ago, they had that Krusty Hero Academia fighting game. Oh, they made a sequel to that one. Oh, is it less Krusty? No. Oh, okay. It's still crusty. How about Jump Force? Is Jump Force still crusty? I would assume so. I don't know why it wouldn't be crusty. Because it's Jump Force, but less crusty. That's what they should call, like, the next Jump Force. It's like, Jump Force, but less crusty. Well, the, the thing is, like, I wouldn't want a new Jump Force, because A... The game scares me, like, aesthetically. I don't think games should... <laughs> anime fighting games should look that way. That's, like, terrifying. Wait, I was? Uh, but B, like, there's so many mods for that. Like, there's so many modded fighters for that game. It's like, bro, what are you gonna give me that I can't get already? Yeah, I guess so. Uh... You know? I feel like that's... The like, the... Alright. I can finally see the character select screen. Yeah, you do get Krillin in the game. I was actually capping out of my ass. That would have been crazy. I've just never seen somebody play him. Oh, well, I nowadays, I'd imagine they, they try to go for something a little more balanced with the character roster. Whereas back in like those older games, they really would try to include as many characters just as humanly possible. Well, for some reason, they thought to add Cooler... I just don't under. Cooler seems like the most random. Like we, it's like we guys, we gotta represent the uh, Dragon Ball movies, Dragon Ball Z movies that everybody loves and remembers. Uh, they they should have included like freaking like BoJack or like. Right, like it's like, <laughs> like go crazy with it. I guess I don't know. Oh man, that BoJack movie is so bad. And then they have old Broly, and then they have new Broly. It's like, 
<laughs> you know where I'm gonna go with this, right? I don't. This game is new school and old school. And old school. <laughs> Just hey. like a Togi Zoshi. And they have like Goku like eight times. I swear they do. I, I swear they do. They have uh, they have Bardock, you know Goku's dad. Yeah. Who looks exactly like Goku. Uh, they got Goku himself, just normal box cutter, normal ass Goku. Box they got Super Saiyan. Goku. They got Super Saiyan normal one, or Super Saiyan one Goku. All right. Yeah. All right, and then now that things are getting a little crazy. So we jump a little bit to then we got Super Saiyan God. Uh oh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. Oh shit. Yeah. All right. That's a whole different character, by the way. Uh, and we also got Goku Black from Super of uh, Dragon Ball Super, bro. Oh my god. Oh wait, do they do they scene? do it like the first Budokai Tenkaichi, where you can't transform on the fly, or is it like you cannot transform? Oh, jeez. Oh, these okay. Are all, these are whole different characters. That's so weird. And the funny thing is, a lot of them are DLC. Oh, like paid DLC? Yeah! That's awful, why? Yo, you wanna play Ultra Instinct Goku? Cough up some money, dog. Oh no. Oh, hey, Rex. Oh ho. I'm playing hey, Dragon Rex. Ball. You're playing Dragon Ball? Yeah, I'm streaming it on YouTube. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's why I was talking about, um, if you want to play, like, GT Goku, where he's, like, a kid again. Yeah. Cough up the money, boy. They don't give you that shit for free. Come on, it's, that's, that's premium content right there. Oh my gosh, Krillin, man. Yeah, what Krillin is... is he's schmoovin', bro. Come on over here, bro. <laughs> he is, let me, let he me does do not want to fight you. He is tired of it. He said, bro. fuck this fight. There we go, finally! Man. Wait, oh, because it has to be the right? That's so annoying. Oh, wait. Yeah, do you have no, to do they have like eight different Gokus, and like half of them you gotta pay money for. It's kind of funny. I... Worth every penny, man. I keep thinking about getting them, but like, I've only played this game one time. Like, I feel like I'm, like, I'd be buying, be just wasting money, which I don't mind doing, because I'm gonna make, I like, make enough now that I can waste money, but it's like. Cough up the for never bucks, bro. It's just really awkward. I just don't. You know, like. I wish that the fighter pass, like the ultimate version of this game, in quotes, actually came up with came with like the GT characters. There we go. You know, I don't really care about Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, I'd, I'd much rather step into the Grand Tour. In all honesty. Yeah, really. Like, <laughs> I'm just sitting here, like, yeah. Uh, thanks for uh, giving me Beerus. I really like Beerus, yeah I do! Dog, Doug, where's like freaking Super 17, bro? Where's the baby? Oh, the baby is there! Oh, is he actually in? <laughs> uh, yeah, DLC. Oh, okay. I'm and, and the thing is, he doesn't come with like the, you know, like the Giga Chad version of the game. You have to buy the DLC supper for him. Oh, jeez. It, I'm yeah. I'm surprised he wasn't like uh, banned from uh, the game after his comments. Yeah, you would expect that, but like they um they were very like uh, yeah I mean people do things they, they sometimes people do things that aren't right. And, but that's yeah, like, why would people. an antagonist from Dragon Ball GT do anything wrong? No way. Well, I mean you know the premise of Dragon Ball GT. I can see how somebody would be confused how um, they do something wrong. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? It's just like... You know... Uh, is Master Roshi in the game? Uh, they just added him. Hell yeah! I guess it was like the whole theme of, you know, like... 
We're adding GT relevant people, I guess. And I guess Master Roshi was kind of there in GT. I, I, but he's in all of them, really. Yeah, he's in all of them. <laughs> I... Because like, I mean the whole the whole like gimmick of that DLC pack was just adding GT characters. So, like they added um Videl. Well, Videl's in Z. Z as well. Yeah, that that's the thing. It's just like, why didn't they add these characters already? <laughs> that's how I felt for like half of them. You know, it's like. Uh, I really be... think they got a they got to bust out some OG Dragon Ball man. Give me some, like, peel off. Give me some, like, general blue, man. Give me some they're pow. Definitely, they're totally not going to do that. I feel like they're done adding DLC. Oh, uh, that's hope. that's because, like, all these, like, games really do underrepresent. Like, they're, they're more willing to acknowledge GT than they are the OG. It really is sad, in my opinion. Well, it's, it feel, it's really weird. It feels like... Bro... For the Broly movie, they added two characters. I'm like, that's a one Broly movie. They're like, yeah, Broly is in the game, but like he's old, smelly Broly, so we added a whole new Broly. It's like, okay. Did they add any now Toshi Shida cuts? Yeah, yeah, they actually <laughs> did. Because well, like, I mean, the problem is that uh, like some of Dragon Ball's most famous moments are animated by Naoto Shishida. And if the supers are imitating those famous moments, you're gonna get Naoto Shishida. Uh, I'm sure Hongu is very excited for that. Well, I mean, me and Hongu have a very similar opinion. I think that his old work is actually not bad. Yeah, I, I recall us talking about that, actually. Yeah, so the thing is, it's like... Um, for example, I'm pretty sure um, uh, Gohan, like Teenage Gohan's uh, like super, uh, is a reference to yeah, when he's fighting Cell. Yeah, um, that's yeah. Well, that's like, I, Cell. Haven't I have not played Gohan Teen, right? So I got I wouldn't know. That's that's when Gohan gets all edgy in the anime, and he's all like, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Toy it's like it, like they they they, they kind of position him to be like. Oh man, he's gonna get he's gonna get older and he's gonna like take over. He's gonna they're gonna do like a Boruto where like you know Goku gets to just be an old fucking man. It's like no, 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 no. Uh, no. Go, Goku go goes to the retirement office home. worker or something. <laughs> he just works for he just works at an office or something. I don't really. Oh, well, well, yeah, first he, he becomes like a, a you know a superhero because he's great saying. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the great saying. Yeah, that that was. I, they they should put that in the game. That would be a cool like yeah. gimmick character. I mean, like you know, yeah. You know what I look, they're not above be... putting eight different versions of a character in the game already. Look, just look at Goku. <laughs> yeah, I think they should just outright stop making Dragon Ball games because there's already like three billion. No, <laughs> never yeah, stop. I mean, Need to know. We don't need more Dragon Never Ball. Never stop making DVs, uh, Dragon Ball games. No. Well, I mean, I, I mean, in defense of fighters, um, fighters is a different or like a no, more no, retro. No, take. I, I, I hated that arc system works. I think is what he made fighters. I yeah. hate that they didn't just do another Sailor Moon one. Like <laughs> another what? Also, so yeah, for Never Bucks. That's what I said. Oh, wait, say that again. What, what, you, you mean, you mean, oh, uh, you, know, you know how Arc System Works made like a Super Nintendo uh, Sailor Moon fighting game? Yeah? Yeah, I wish they just did like another one of those. Just cause like, you know, Crystal is kind of relevant, I guess. <laughs> but wait, you oh, don't even want to watch Crystal, what are you talking about? No, I, will, I will get to Crystal, okay? I just but, need one Okay, wait, who's to say they're never gonna do that? Like, why are you admonishing this game that's completely irrelevant? It's not completely irrelevant. It takes dev time, scrolls. It takes dev time. No, hey, man. man. I used to say that, but now they're giving me rollback net code for BB Tag, so I can't hate Arc System Works anymore. They've heard my <laughs> cries. I cried to them so much, I bought all their games. Except for Fighters, because I, I wanted to send a message that them supporting their most profitably successful game is a stupid idea. And they listened to me. 
And now they're gonna give me what I want. So I, I, don't, I don't want Dragon Ball to be like a complex fighter. I'd rather just go back to the Budokai. It's um, not a complex fighter. Have you played fighters? I have not played fighters. No. When was Bro, what it, was the last? The more you the the more you think while playing that game, the more you're doing it wrong. Like it's just. <laughs> Oh yeah, Rags, what was the last Dragon Ball fighter you played? I gotta know if, like, you've actually played later ones than me. I assume it so. It was like, it's like, uh, no, I have not played anything past PS2. I think there was, like, Ultimate something. Are you talking about Super Dragon Ball Z? No, 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 it's the one after that, like, Infinite World, or what, it had Frieza on the cover. Ah. Uh. It was, it was like Budokai 3 on crack, is what I remember about that one. Oh, was that Ultimate Tenkaichi, or is that the... Oh, I remember what no, 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 you talking about, Rex. Yeah, I'm talking about the, uh, the one with Frieza on the cover. I will get an image and put it in chat. And I will not look at chat, because I'm too focused on fighting Jackie Chun right now. That's what it's called, Dragon Ball Infinite World. Yeah. It's got mm -hmm. Wu on the cover, not Frieza. Like, that's the... Yeah, the game was fire. The game was fire. I remember back yeah. in the day, I used to play at my friend's house, that game was cool. Yeah, that game was like fucking Budokai 3 on crack, and it was amazing, and I wish they'd just go back to that style. Why I'm Why is Budokai 3 smoking crack? Budokai 3 isn't the one smoking crack, Infinite World is. Well, no, Budokai 3 is because that's how you got Infinite World, was by Budokai <laughs> 3 smoking crack. Oh, well, I mean, you know... You just need to... Man, I, I don't stand the ghost of the chance against this Jackie Chun fella. I wonder who he is. Isn't he, like, Master Roshi's brother or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Chun. Jackie Chun. Yeah, um, Dragon Ball Fighters is pretty simple to play. It's just that it's pretty... It's mechanically sound is what I'd say. Yeah. See, for me, I just had too much of a sentimental value to Tenkaichi 3. I just didn't understand the point in making any fighters after that that weren't going to build upon what that already had. Because it was like, after that, all the fighters started getting rid of the features that were in it. So, to me, it was like, well, why are you downgrading when this already had the most content out of literally any Dragon Ball game I've ever played? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was, I, I was kind of, I get that, I don't know if I fully said it, but I think that because it goes, you know, it's like a 2D fighter, it's just like a straight up 2D fighter, um, I think it kind of justifies its existence a bit more, like of just being something completely different. That's how, like, its life cycle can exist alongside, um, like, Kakarot, and, like, I don't think it's weird. You know, because it's like not the same type of game. Well, no, nowadays I can understand wanting to like take it in a different direction. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, that's just how I felt back in the day, I want to clarify. Uh, also, I want to clarify, I am bullshitting you. Uh, I have played a modern Dragon Ball Z fighting game. I played Xenoverse 2. Oh, did I you play Jump Force? Forgot. And I also did play Jump Force at that time. So I mean... <laughs> Yeah, what do you think of Jump Force? Not good. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you liked Jump Force. <laughs> no, I don't like Jump Force. Jump you seem Force. like the kind of person who would like Jump Force. Why? Why would I like Jump Force? Why wouldn't you like Jump Force? Because I don't like the style of Jump Force. It's like the stupid, um, J-Star's Victory style. You need to make it like a Super Smash Bros. clone again for Shonen Jump. Oh yeah, wait, yeah, by the funny. way, which one of us is Chump and which one of us is the bigger Chump? Oh, I thought we established this. But yeah, we did. Play, I'm the bigger really Chump because I yeah, came up with it. Yeah, exactly. I was like, it's really mean because you're the bigger Chump. <laughs> well, no, I have to be the bigger Chump because I was the one who came up with it. <laughs> Fair enough. Damn, chump. Yeah, the game chump. Yeah, the game chump. Also, wait a second, this didn't happen. This is non-canon. Goku did not win the world tournament. He lost. 
Do 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 you lost to Jackie Chun in that one. It was like, the, like the last one, the first one to stand up and say you were the victor won, and that have was guys, that was Jackie Chun who won. Have you guys ever heard the shitty Canadian openings for Dragon Ball? Uh, really I've, bad. I've heard the DBZ one. Yeah, but the original Dragon Ball has like one of the shittiest openings ever in Canada. It's really bad. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Hey, I'm Chomp. I'm not so Chomp. And we are Chomps. Yeah, it's the game Chomps. Oh, and now Jackie Chun is a playable character. Holy heck, I unlocked him. Man, this really is a phenomenal game. I'm glad I finally grew up with a good game for once. As opposed to all the crappy games I grew up with, because, you know, I didn't grow up in the the superior 16-bit era. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Man, before I was talking about how much I hate 90s kids, now I'm talking about how much I hate 90s kids. <laughs> Yeah, if Meta was here, I was gonna play Super Sonic R Warriors, but he is not here, so I'm not playing Super Sonic Warriors. Yeah, instead, you're playing one that I don't even know. Oh, uh, you never played Advanced Adventure? No, I don't know what this is. Yeah, it's Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure for the Game Boy Advance. Oh my fucking god. Oh man, I got it for my birthday one year. And uh, I was talking about how it was, like, legitimately all I did when I went to vacation in Atlanta that year because it was really boring and because we didn't get any cable in the hotel room. So all I could do is play this game. I kind of wish I met someone IRL who has this type of hat, but I've never, ever met anyone like this. Oh, how, how can you meet someone like that? You're from Canada. That's what I mean, is like, I guess it's just a Russian thing, it's not a... It's not just a Russian thing. thing. You've you've seen Snow Hose. Yeah, but like... Wait, what? <laughs> you ever seen Snow Hose? Yeah! How do you, how do you remember? Yeah, you, they, they have Who those hats it? there. Uh, Shida oh, say has it. Oh, she does it. Okay, but she's like, you know, going to Antarctica and just Japanese. It's not a Canadian. <laughs> Do you think she should have been Canadian? <laughs> I think that would be interesting. <laughs> Japan made an anime in Canada besides fucking future GPS. Oh, there was Ginbon Kaleidoscope, uh, Akage no An, uh, Super Lovers. Super Lovers. No, okay, I don't trick out Super Lovers and stuff. No, Super Lovers is iconic. Wait, what's wrong with Super Lovers? <laughs> I didn't- I didn't go into this call expecting someone to insult super lovers randomly. Well, yeah, I gotta admit, yeah, I don't I mean, remember what was wrong with super lovers, I watched too much of it. <laughs> oh, I, well I watched the whole first season! Wow. Me talking about one of the scenes of super lovers got Joe to end his live stream one time. Yeah. Yo, I, I was watching, like, a few yaoi's today, and I, I think, uh... Which one you was know, your Super favorite? Super Lovers just doesn't have the pizzazz that the Yaoi today I watched was like. Well, but it has Canada, so it doesn't need the pizzazz. <laughs> like, the, the, the one I watched today was like, um... I, I feel like somebody from Meta's art history class would have made it. <laughs> it's really uh, are you referring to that, like, that woman who, like, has really crappy drawings and d wants to know why no one will commission her? No, 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 that's, that's what we already saw, I'm talking about a new one. It, it, it's, it's not like they're artists, it's like the show itself just has a very pretentious vibe. Oh, so it's Ergo Proxy? <laughs> you heard it here, folks! He called Ergo Proxy pretentious! <laughs> no, it, no, I did not, I just, yeah, you just you said it has it. a vibe, not that it is. Okay, okay, he said it had a pretentious vibe on a technical scale, okay. Uh, well no, I'm saying people would say that. No, you definitely did not specify people would say that. Well, that's just because I'm bad at communicating, sue me. 
Oh, you get to take down robot Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, I had never really liked the Red Ribbon Army arc of Dragon Ball all that much. It's, like, just really long. It gets overshadowed by, like, the arc following it. Well, I like Aider, uh, and I like the Tau, and I like the, the little Indian boy. Uh, well, Native American, excuse me. The little Native American boy. He's cool. Uh. Yeah, I'd agree with that. But it's maybe just... he's like... like. Or maybe he's supposed he... to be Ainu? I don't actually know. I was going to say, maybe he's supposed to be Ainu because it's Japanese. But I don't so... know because it, it feels like very distinctly Native American is the thing. I'm starting to feel like I just might, might cave in and buy the DLC pack with all the GT homies in it. Well, I I may have indirectly influenced you into getting this uh this uh pack. Well, I just kind of look at the cast. I'm like, man, there's just a bunch of like versions of these characters. There's just like the sad ones. <laughs> the original sad boy. The original <laughs> sad boys. I like. I, I do not want to use adult Gohan. No offense, Gohan. I'm sorry, dude. Oh uh, wait, can you play as Corin? No. Oh, uh, I want to play as Corin the cat. You cannot. The I don't think the, there. The, wait, are, is the there any DBZ thing. fighter that lets you play as Corin? Is the better question. I think that is a better question. Uh, I don't even think there's any DBZ fighter that lets you play as Yajirobe, let alone... Yeah, play. yeah, he's in Budokai Tenkaiji, Yajirobe. Oh, okay. Is Kori Yeah, I do definitely think the Budokai game? games were, like, probably the most, like... They had, like, the most thorough approach to, uh, you know... Oh, yeah. Characters. This is the wacky ninja guy. He's Ninja, the the streamer. Corin. Yeah, Corin the cat. Dragon Ball fighting games. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Uh, I always wanted to pet Corin the cat. It's just like a cute little surfer dude cat. He, he's an NPC in like this weird PlayStation One game that I've never heard. That's that's the most <laughs> most I could find. Also, who said I hate Ergo Proxy? No. <laughs> who said that? I hate the fact that people will constantly, like, make fun of me for that, but, like, I don't hate the show now. But I, I'm also very sensitive, so don't take it too personal. Yeah, Rags, I really think you, I really thought you would have played this game. I'm I'm a little sad to know that you've never played this game. It's such a good game. There's like, a lot of fucking Dragon Ball games, man. Yeah, but this this yeah. is like an OG Dragon Ball game, not even a Z game. Yeah, but I, I played the RPG on the DS. Oh, but this is to... like so good. It it like goes for like a hundred dollars on eBay. That's how you know it's good. It's like wow. Dragon. It's like Dragon Ball's version of Dragon Guard. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I like that Drag for real. Dragon as they would say in the Utah. Yeah. Well, Drakengard also retroactively started going for a lot of money, so I thought it was an apt comparison. Yeah. I don't think Drakengard wanted two very good games, so I mean... <laughs> well, I think Just this is a very me. good game. It's so cool. It, 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 like, it has a story mode, it has a fighting game mode, it's cool. And it's Dragon Ball, it's not even Zed, you know? This is the whole reason I bothered even watching the OG Dragon Ball, is because I played this game. 
I might have never exposed myself to Dragon Ball, the original, if not for this game. I might have been one of those scrubs who only watched Z. Well, I watched GT first, so I can't say that, but... I appreciate it so I mean. much that you called it Z. <laughs> yeah, I did I that like, earlier. Uh, Zed. I do like Z. He's a freaking pop producer. Yeah, yeah, I remember we, we'd sing Clarity together. That was fun. Yeah. I had fun with that. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, I will say though, as somebody who's never watched Super, uh, I do like Hit. Playing as Hit is very fun. Uh, See, he, he's like a Hunter Hunter character. See, what I know about Super is I know Little Jiren. Yeah, no, you don't get Jiren. You have to buy him. <laughs> you have to I buy so Jiren. Cut. Yeah, I was like Alien Headman. I need him. Is that why this game keeps going on sale? Because this stupid Fighter Z goes on sale all the time on PSN. I'm just like, I don't want well, this Well, it goes on sale, but you, it's because um, Arc System Works wants you to buy the DLC. Yeah. Arc System is trying to drag me in, just like the fucking Dead or Alive devs. I'm not, I'm not falling for it. Yeah, I've, play I've it. I've fallen for it. Rags, you should play Advanced Adventure. Just like I should play Underwater Ray Romano, you should play Advanced Adventure. Play Advanced Adventure. I think you would enjoy your time with Advanced Adventure. Yeah. I think you should play the O2 version of Underwater Ray Romano. Cause... Well, I hate to break it to you, Rags, I was never gonna play the remake. Oh, thank god. <laughs> I'm so mad that people play the remake. I'm like, it's missing of what content. Game? Of Underwater Ray Romano. It's a water game, no? Yeah. Oh, I play the remake of Underwater Mono. What's wrong with it? It removes the content. Like, what kind of content? Who's the HC? <laughs> <laughs> it's content. <laughs> Like with who? With all the, uh, I think all the girls except Aru you get an HC. And that like one princess girl. I don't really need it. Oh yeah, that's right. This was the Russian uh, guy at the top of Muscle Power. If you don't have the HCs, you don't get good Karura and Toka moments. Oh wait, yeah. I think I have to go to the top, eh? Yeah, I think I have to, like, jump or something. Oh, wait, no, I have to freeze him first. That's right. Just like in the show. I can't believe yeah, I definitely... Famitsu gave this under 32. I know that's a hot take, but I actually do not feel like I needed H scenes for Udawar Mono. I, I'm fine with that game without it. I don't think people need them except me. What I mean. <laughs> well, I mean, in most games, I would feel like I do, but I, I like Little War Mono, like, enough, and I think it works without it. I just don't like cut content of any form. Every game I agree. I mean, I got this game called AU Senki. Yeah. Um, and it, it, I found out it had, like, H content that was just not in that version that I got, or, like, on the Steam version. Yeah. And, you know... I figured out the fastest way to get all that back because in that game I was like I need this like this game feels a lot more like I guess deviant is what I would put it and I, I feel like more of a deviant eat playing it and you know I mean I just do not feel that when I'm playing you know yeah. Udawara Mono it's not a deviant game, I'm just saying that it cuts out some good character moments. Yeah, I mean, if it, the content was there, it's there, you know, I mean, I'd, I'd be happier with it. I'm getting, getting hockeyed here. This dude is like fucking, like, what the hell is he? What dude? This dude on the screen, the purple... You don't remember from Muscle Tower? When uh, the Russian guy sends you underground and you have to fight this dude? 
The the Russian dude from the Red Ribbon Army you have to face yeah. off against him. I'm just saying, like, I remember him, I'm just like... And OG Dragon Ball sure had some weird alien designs. Yeah. Like, probably, like, Fat Boo is probably the most OG Dragon Ball, like, Z ever gets. But, but for the most part, those have really menacing. Oh, like I'd say Garlic like... Jr. Oh, yeah, Garlic Jr. is very OG Dragon Ball, but he's not candy. Uh, he yeah, is to me. Garlic. I'd say Garlic <laughs> Jr. is that uh, well. Uh, I don't know how... I don't know how, uh, how you could say such bad things about Garlic Jr. X. It's not in the manga! Speaking not of non-canon, the best part of Dragon Ball Z is obviously fake Namek. <laughs> and I know I can say that because I know, like, everybody I've seen considers that, like, the worst filler. I don't think the OVA, there was like one of the OVAs I saw. Oh, the Terabiko? No, not. Terabiko is great. I'm not gonna insult the Terabiko. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> just thinking the other one was really bad and I did not like it. Oh, uh, it's Bio Broly? No, Bio Broly's <laughs> a movie, is it not? Yeah, it is a movie, yeah, but I thought that movie's that's crash. Not an OVA. Oh, I, I'll be honest, I didn't even like the first two Broly's. I don't either. I think they made one good Broly film. Yeah, the the most nope. recent one I thought was the best. Yeah, one. it's crazy. It's crazy. It, it it's like a Broly film that makes you feel like, man, yo, man, maybe those old Broly films are good. And then you think about them for a second, and then you remember, and you're like, no, no, no. This is just a good no. No. I mean the, the the reason why that Broly film works is because there's like no they're like they put they put so lo little emphasis on the story. It's like it's just like half the film is just fighting. I'm like yeah, uh, well more than half the film is just like them fighting. I'm like this is really awesome. Uh, I mean I don't think the second Broly movie had very much story either. It, it didn't. But, but it, it was just the like, fighting was really boring. It was not good. Yeah. yeah. I'd say they did try a little more story with the first one, and arguably by Oberly, there was a bit of story. Uh, not very much. I I'd say the, the Dragon Ball movie with the least story is actually Bojack. Bojack Horseman? No, no, Bojack <laughs> from, from Dragon Ball, when he, like, <laughs> he's just this wacky guy that is underground. It's like, I'm Bojack. Back in the 90s, I was... <laughs> oh, I don't like 90s kids. We were talking about this. They ruined my life with the freaking Pokemon Freeze Dance. It's just like how my classmates ruined my life with that stupid election. That Rags thought was funny. Alright. Yeah, this is when you go hunting for some treasure, matey. Can you imagine playing Dragon Ball on Game Boy Advance? Yeah, imagine imagine a Wii Roger playing Dragon Ball on Game Boy Advance. Cause that was what happened. That was me. I was there. I was there for when this came out. <laughs> I was there, man. It was so amazing. Yeah, I, I, I only picked up this game because I saw it in some magazine. I forget which one. It was either Nintendo Power or uh, Shonen Jump. Shonen Chump. Yeah. Maybe it both. It looks like the, the fucking Naruto, like Ninja Council style stuff. <laughs> oh, well, I also own that. Uh, though <laughs> I think I own that first. Yeah, I own both of those. I also I own both of those. One. I actually kept the box for the second one. I have the original GBA box. Really? I was developed by, like, similar... I, ha I feel like they had... No, the Ninja Council ones were D3. Uh, I believe this was actually Atari. Who did a lot this of the... 
Atari did a bunch of the Dragon Ball games back then. Although maybe this was just published by Atari, not developed, no. I'm not sure. Ah! Bruh. I don't remember them facing this many bats in the show. Oh, I got a free man! Free guy. Also, by the way, now that everyone's here, uh, I gotta say something very important. Yeah. The Fine Brothers React World! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I haven't exactly. brought it up, like, all day. I, you know, I was waiting with bated breath. I'm so glad that you finally got the opportunity. To bring up the fucking Fine Brothers. Yeah, your <laughs> the favorite one people. Million time. And because you dropped an F bomb, I'm now not making any money off of this. Thanks oh, a lot. I fucked. I messed it up. No. Don't worry. I think I might have said it a few times. The entire really point time. of this dream was for Roger. Oh, oh really? So sad. Roger yes. was trying to make money. No, I'm trying to not lose my YouTube partnership, so they said, like, if I don't upload a video in the next 30 days, I, I'll lose my partnership. Yeah, but what about, like, the three cents of ad rev? I, I screwed you out of it. Yeah, that's, you know, I've I've only been saying gosh darn it this entire time. Uh... <laughs> I've been keeping it very friend family friendly, even though I said that this video is not for kids. Uh, I'm so sorry. As per the COPA <laughs> regulations. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm well, just teasing you. Well, with that, my friends, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. With All right, later, time. mate. Thanks for uh, joining me to discuss the greatest thing ever, Dragon Ball Z Fighters. Let me know if you get the DLC pack. You know what? You know what? You know what? For you? For you? Yeah. I'm a buyer right now. Hell yeah! Oh my god, he's buying the pack. <laughs> oh my god, wait, they have Gogeta. They just have Gogeta as his own character. Yo. <laughs> like, from Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Yeah, I always loved using him in really? the other games because he was so overpowered. They just put him out in March. This guy looks like he's from Shantae. I don't even remember him from the show. Yeah, it's oh, that don't? that robot gunman that just keeps shooting. He's oh wait, Shantae. you're talking about Gogeta? No, not Gogeta. I'm talking oh, about. Oh, no, this is screen. just the guy you're fighting. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gunman. Yeah, there's like a crazy like gun thing, and it like there's this crazy wacky action episode where they're just like avoiding him the entire time. I can't blame you for not remembering just because the Red Ribbon arc is so freaking long. <laughs> I just thought that was really cool looking at me. I'm like, oh, this is like Shantae. <laughs> but yeah, it is indeed from the show. I believe that's... Oh my god. It's like 50-something, I think, when that happens. Maybe like 40-something. It's one of those. All right, let's continue. I'm beating him up, as per the name, beat him up. I was also mentioning the fact that I haven't played very many beat him up games outside of this. Yeah, I think there's something lost when it's a, it's like a 2D side scroll. Ah, oh, crap! Thing. I screwed up. But I have so many free guys, it Yo, doesn't matter. Yo, for the trailer for uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, they play the uh, the GT opening. <laughs> oh, the Don Don or the Step Into the Grand Tour? The Don Don. Alright, good. That is so crazy. It's so weird. It's so not like the vibe of what I expect to hear one for like a trailer. You know, you see Super Saiyan 4 <laughs> next to Super Saiyan God, Gogeta, 
<laughs> and the happy <laughs> music. Dead, dead. Yeah, you're sitting there like, um, I just feel like there's something wrong here. Like, bro, they should just play like Maximum the Hormone. I think that'd be more fitting. Yeah, the Frieza theme. Yeah, so I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> From the oh, Frieza movie. Crap. But I have so many free guys, I can't possibly lose them all, right? Yeah. Peace. Later, mate. Alright. Uh, I might head out after I beat these red ribbon schling schlongs. <laughs> the schling schlong army. The schling schlong army. <laughs> it is crazy, though, going through OG Dragon Ball and seeing how many characters Toriyama just stops including in the show. Yeah. Just dumps. He kind of does it, like, subtly, though. Because I remember, like, launch... Launch disappears. Yeah, 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 she was like there at the very, very start of Z, and then just weirdly disappears. From uh, the she's not in the manga for Z at all. Wow. That was an anime original episode. Oh my fucking god. And she's in the Boo Saga, very, very briefly, uh, yeah. when Goku does the spirit bomb. Yeah. I think Oolong had, like, at least a reason to. No, Oolong, Oolong kind of fades from prominence in Dragon Ball. Yeah. Because he just, he doesn't want to fight is the thing, because he's lazy. <laughs> and he yeah. doesn't... But I mean, even in like Z at the very least, right? During the Saiyan arc, the anime includes all of that stuff of them trying to watch the fight. Though, to be fair, there also is a lot of stupid anime original crap in Z. Yeah. So it's not, like, perfect or anything, but it... You know, I think it still did do a lot, right? Come on, come on. There we go. Oof. I'm always really nervous during those platforming sections, I'm telling you. Also, who left that chicken there? Chicken? Yeah, they just left chicken there. Alright, I think this is when you'll be facing off against General Blue. Yeah, th this part was always weird with General Blue, because then they do that weird, like, Dr. Slump crossover episode. Well, yeah. set of episodes. No. I was just thinking, like, I swear to god there was, like, a Dr. Slump OVA thing. But uh, there isn't an OVA for Dr. Slump. There it isn't? I thought up. there was. No. He just, like, pops up in, like, a weird other Akira Toriyama thing. Oh, is that the comedy one you don't like? No, no. I know which one you're talking about. That one's fine. It's, like, a different one. That one's fine? I thought you didn't like the comedy one. You, you said he can't write the silver, comedy. The silver-haired boy? Is you talked about it in your about? OVA stream. You were like, oh, this is awful. Akira Toriyama can't oh, write comedy. Okay, that was an 80s one. That, that's not at all what, it, what I'm thinking. And he also didn't write it, so... <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't even know which one you're talking about. I'm talking about the silver-haired boy. What did that one have? I don't know, man. The 80s one? I don't remember any 80s one. You, you were talking about how it was, like, awful and how Akira Toriyama can't write comedy and all that, even though he didn't write I, the OVA, no, he just did the comedy. designs. Yeah, I like the silver-haired one this year. Well, you, didn't, you, you should argue with yourself on the 80s OVA yeah, stream. Don't, don't fucking get, take past me's word for it, like... <laughs> I mean, I just, you know, I try to trust your opinion, because you're my friend. Dude, like, you know, I, I had only seen that 80s one at the time. I did not know he could write comedy in the 90s. Well. <laughs> you gotta know, you gotta show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
All right. Okay, let me look up Akira Toriyama on Val. I need to figure out this fucking... Oh, did you watch the Chrono Trigger OVA again? Yeah, I did! What do you think of it this it's time? It's not even bad. I, I really think it's awful. I think... I don't... I, I think it's just, it. like, the audio is so bad. I, I've heard worse audio, okay? Uh, maybe you're just built different, but I really don't like that Chrono Trigger OVA. Yeah. I don't know, man. You would have to watch it with me and point the parts you think are good. Yeah, I thought, like, when Gonzalez shows up in this part. But Gonzalez makes everything fun. But you also have to understand I've never played Chrono Trigger. Oh, fair enough. I've had it sealed on the DS forever. I've had it on my shelf, like, for over a decade now. Mm. But I actually haven't played Chrono Trigger because I don't play 16-bit era games. Because I don't like 90s kids. Yeah, there's Upa. Okay, I'm looking through his shit. I'm gonna find this OVA that I did not like. Oh, is it Kosuke Sama? Maybe, yeah, I don't I, know. I don't like Kosuke Sama very much. Like the samurai one. Oh, what's wrong with the Samurai? That was a good OVA. <laughs> the Samurai's a good OVA. I don't think Kosuke Salva is. Oh, I'm getting my hockey beaten by Mercenary Tao. And then there's Kano's Kosuke Salva, which I don't remember watching. There's Ca Cash Man is fun. I like Cash Man a whole lot. Yeah, how many Go -go. 80s OVAs did you rewatch this year? Uh, g before that, like, Gogo Ackman, that is the one I was thinking of where Arale shows up. Oh, uh, okay. That's the name. Or was it Cashman? I don't know. One of the two she shows up in. But uh, I didn't really rewatch any of the 80s things that much. I just happened to, like, recall some of them this year. Oh, so, like, you magically remembered Cinderella Express? Yeah, I, I just, like... Like, I, I that was, like, really early in the year, too, where I was like, Oh my god, I actually remembered that one! <laughs> yeah, and it was, uh... It was, you know, Rags Core to the end. Yeah, it was Pog! It was also, Buddha Pog! Also, wait a second, when does he promote himself to General? General Scales. General Scales. Yeah, wait. <laughs> is he does he become General Tao when he kills Blue? Cause he's listed as mercenary Tao in the fighting game part. Hey, it's Corin! Woo! Corin the cat. Corin is here, but you can't play as him. Oh, I wanna play as Corin. Corin the cat! The cute little cat! <laughs> Goku uh. begins climbing. <laughs> yeah, he's climbing the tower. And then he runs into Corin the cat! Yeah. So cute. I don't know, I I've always liked Corin because he's just a cute little cat. He's like a, yeah. a wise sage. Like this... I remember like one of the Dragon Ball dubs called him like Whiskers the Wonder Cat or something. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> like, that's really? just incredible. <laughs> How many like random Dragon Ball dubs did you get in Canada? <laughs> Dude, the release of Dragon Ball here is a fucking mess. <laughs> See, like, I know there was, like, the big green dub or whatever. There was the... The Harmony Gold dub is what I'm thinking of. There was the big green dub, there was the ocean. Ocean dub. The ocean we got to. And, well, the one I grew up with was always the Funimation. I never grew up with the ocean dub. Because I'm not I've a 90s kid. <laughs> I think I've only seen the ocean, actually. Really? You've never yeah, seen I'm the not Funimation a 90s dub? Kid. So I, I saw, like, DVDs of Dragon Ball. Or maybe it was VHS, I don't remember. 
Have you seen the sub? I haven't seen the sub in this show. Oh no. Surprising me. Interesting. I don't know, I feel like re-watching Dragon Ball would just be a pain because it's so long and... Uh... The, the original wasn't Z is. Yeah, Z is so fucking long and there's lots of filler in it. Yeah. Well, it's not even filler, it's padding. Yeah. Yeah, I tried watching Super. I was just like, I, I don't vibe with Dragon Ball anymore. It's just not, not my cup of tea. Ah, well, I think you would vibe with Advanced Adventure for the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Honestly, like Dragon Ball should have just ended at the Saiyan Saga. No, it should. It. Yes. No, it shouldn't. Have, it should never end. No, I don't want it to go on for a billion years. <laughs> it should just always keep going. No, because if it had ended at the Saiyan Saga, I would have never watched it. So it had to go on for as long as, I, as it did. It had to go on until GT, because I first saw GT. Wow. Like, you know... People might say, oh, this should have done this, but consequently, you know, because it played out the way it did, you know, in the yeah. long run, that's how, you know, I got to the point I am today. We might have not been talking if GT did not exist. <laughs> Ever think of that? Okay, fair enough. Because, <laughs> like, if Z never got big in the US, like... Would anime have been as profitable? I don't know. Because you might say, well, Sailor Moon was big, but Sailor Moon stopped broadcasting in, like, 2003, and I didn't even watch anime in 2003, so, you know? Yeah. What I'm thinking is, like, the big three may have still caught on, you know? Would they have? I don't know. <laughs> it might have not been long... Say. It might have not been around in time for the market to continue to exist i don't know yeah. and maybe it wouldn't have been as profitable if not for dragon ball to begin with like the franchise yeah so quite frankly i think we needed all of these iterations so that you could be talking here with me today <laughs> Do uh, you think maybe Hunter x Hunter would have been bigger if GT didn't exist? No. No, I don't. No. <laughs> it doesn't matter anyway. None of these were what got me into anime. What got me into anime was freaking Rave Master. But that's neither wow. here nor there. <laughs> I think I legitimately might enjoy Rave Master more than Dragon Ball. Which might be sacrilege, but whatever. Uh, I don't know, I- it's interesting you say this, because I've actually found a new appreciation for Dragon Ball recently. Wow. That's why I'm playing this game. <laughs> Again. I don't know, it's just like how when you think, when you say to yourself, oh, you know, I don't think I could ever get into key visual novels. I start getting into key visual novels. We're a complete <laughs> antithesis. Yeah. You know, maybe I'm just chuffed. Ever think of that? Oh, I, I do feel like, like I'm, I'm like some weird rodent because I can get into all these weird... OVAs no one cares about. But as soon as it's like one of the things a lot of people like, I'm always just like, I don't I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Do I like, am I incapable of getting into some of these OVAs? Just because no, I don't I'm like Chrono you. Trigger? I'm not saying you, I'm saying like the majority of people, you know. 
Like, come on, I'm watching like, Boot and Monogatari for you, Rags. What more yeah. could you ask? Like, like, people, like, look at stuff I watch and be like, what the fuck is this shit? But then, like, I will try and get into something like Fate and I'll be like, your, your stuff's boring. <laughs> I don't, I don't see what's good about this. Uh, I don't know. I think after you get past the common route, uh, it's fine. Yeah, I did like a, the little bit of Suki Eve I played, though, so I'll give that one a call. I think Stay Night just starts out chill. really slow. I, I, I do not understand key visual novels, though. I just oh, the key visual it. novels are so nice. Yeah, I, I need to try one for myself. It's just like such a nice so tone and the characters are cute. <laughs> oh, hey Shugo. Hey. Yeah, I'm playing Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure for the Game Boy Advance. You're still going at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot. You were in the stream calling me Ty Lopez. <laughs> yeah. Talk about the knowledge. The knowledge. Knowledge. Maybe I'll actually finish this game today. No way. I'm not that good at this game to speed through the rest of it. But I won't get- Who's the, the guy who stabs Goku with his tongue? That was amazing. Stabs Why, Goku with his tongue. Oh, didn't he use like his tongue as a weapon at one point? I don't remember who you're talking about. J Mercenary Tao over here. Oh wait, did he? Oh, he used his tongue as a weapon. Oh. Maybe he did. Yeah, I remember it was so funny to me back then. I don't know, Rags. I, I think you, you... I mean, I don't think you have to love Fate or love key visual novels or love Shonen Chump series. However, I think that if you did give an honest try to these, you could at least understand the appeal of them. Well, I don't dislike Shonen Chump series. I recently watched a Raw Alright, fine. Chump. Fine, like good. Dragon Ball, specifically. Yeah, <laughs> I think Dragon Ball is the only one I dislike, actually. <laughs> uh, I like pretty oh. much all of the, like, the really popular ones. Yeah, same. Like, I don't... You know, I actually think One Piece gets too much hate. Like, I, 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 will, I will watch early One Piece and be like, this is pretty good. I don't see why people think that- Oh, I actually cool. think One Piece gets worse. Yeah, exactly. I think it gets worse, too. Does it actually get any hate nowadays, anyway? Well, I feel like the early arcs get hate, because people are like, oh, this is boring, I don't want to go through the whole thing. Oh, uh, you see, when you say stuff like that, I just think of the freaking Keemstar video, where it's like, why am I still getting hate? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think, like, One Piece gets too much hate nowadays. Besides that, like, six-hour video on, like, it went downhill or something. Okay, uh, what I'll say about is, it, it, it has a dip, but I do think Whole Cake is a very good arc. Actually, Whole Cake might be my favorite arc in the whole thing. Oh, I never got <laughs> that far. I never well, made it I past was... Thriller Bark in the manga. Yeah, Thriller Bark was not... Like, you know what, Brook is cool, but Thriller Bark is not one of my... One of the ones I like. Uh, I do like... Piano playing Skelly Man. Yeah, yeah, Brook is cool, Perona is cool. Like, Perona's relationship with Mihawk is cool, especially. But, you know, the villain of that arc was just really. Oh, boring, Gecko Man? Thought. Yeah, the Gecko guy. I, I didn't. I wasn't there. No, it him. really bummed me when they beat him, and then the world government was thinking of taking him back. I was like, please don't. <laughs> And also, like, I have, like, a theory that Oda must have played Mother 3 at some point, because, like, those, like, sort of... Like, they literally have the Majipsies in that arc. <laughs> oh, maybe like, he did weird... play Mother 3. Yeah, like, the, the devil fruit that those, like, people in Thriller Bark had was literally just turned them into people that are, like, the Majipsies in Mother 3.
But I don't know. I think if you give these an honest try, if you give this Game Boy Advance game an honest try, I think you will enjoy it. Are you implying Rags' attempts are uh, dishonest? Uh, like I usually? No, I'm saying his attempts are non-existent. Yeah, I, I have not given this game a shot. So I mean... <laughs> to be honest, I haven't given key visual novels a shot either. So, <laughs> Roger is very correct. My attempts are non-existent. I don't know, I think it was great in air when freaking Yukito is all like staying at Misuzu's house and she's like, oh, I'm gonna cook you a nice dinner. And then there's a choice in the VN where you can choose to just call for pizza. <laughs> and then the pizza guy comes and then he's like, oh, I delivered your pizza. And then she's like, oh, that's so mean. I, I, was, I was in the middle of cooking. Oh my god, that's so horrid. <laughs> a dead asshole. <laughs> well, sorry, I was- I had just ordered pizza and you delivered it, Rags. You're- <laughs> Yes, it's my fault! Yes. I feel so bad! <laughs> that girl deserved better. I don't even know her name, but she deserved better. <laughs> Oh, that's like one of my favorite scenes from Air. <laughs> In terms of the comedy, at least. I like breathing air. That's my favorite air. <sighs> I mean, I don't like air. breathing air, I just have no choice. <laughs> air is constantly raping Roger. <laughs> he has well, to like, get raped. it. it if I had a choice between existing without needing to breathe and needing to breathe, yeah, yeah, I would stop breathing. Wow. Like, it is kind of exhausting to think about how you constantly need to breathe. <laughs> also, if the F word did not demonetize this, the mention of rape absolutely did. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I mean, yeah. it depends. You think the F word would get you demonetized, but talking about rape would it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe playing this game would get me demonetized to begin with. Yeah, there's lots of violence. No, I'm Maybe just I'm assuming the content ID might catch it. Yeah, Toei Animation's gonna take it down. I don't know if Toei has the rights to this game. <laughs> Maybe they do, I don't know. Well, Toei probably had- I don't know how contracts work, I don't want to think of them. Yeah, I don't know, ready to learn some business Japanese, Rex? Some what? Some business Japanese, like some business terms. Oh, oh my fucking gosh. <laughs> we had like an OVA that had a bunch of, like, business terms. But I don't remember most of them. Oh, did Fog actually study business Japanese? He studied a lot of, like, random shit, okay? He oh. studied how to do math in Japanese, too, and shit. Oh, well, they actually... I'm pretty sure language classes teach you how to do that, don't they? I know yeah, when I took a to Italian, if you reached an advanced enough level, you would actually learn how to add and subtract in Italian. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, he knows how to do, like linear algebra and shit in Japanese. So well, I'm like, oh my god. I don't know how to do linear algebra at all. In English, yeah. <laughs> I just have no interest in maths. Yeah, I have interest in, like, math and computing shit. I'm just really bad and dumb. <laughs> yeah, but you can solder. I was talking before about how I don't ever intend to solder anything. Wow. You don't want to get into mechanical keywords? Uh, they can solder it for me. <laughs> well, you can also do it yourself. Yeah, I do like when I watch those keyboard videos and you just hear the clicking noises. That's like uh, ASMR or something. Yeah, look how good this space bar sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> 
things when they all sound the fucking same. <laughs> I think soldering's comfy. Stuff that produces a lot of gross, smoky shit. Yeah, yeah, it's probably good to like just inhale all of it. <laughs> Smart idea. Well, nowadays you just have lead free solder. So. Nah, what you do is you solder and you uh, use the smoke as like a pizza topping. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> you don't even deliver pizzas anymore, you alphabetize MMs. Yeah, I alphabetize MMs now. <laughs> And I eat my money into the- I've actually did put a little bit of money into the stock market, so there you go. Oh, yeah. How are the turnip prices right now? Uh, I haven't even grind. checked. Uh, I never invested in turnip prices. I didn't see it as being worthwhile. When you say turnip prices, I think, like, Rune Factory. That's how far gone I am. Well, at least you think. And I just want to go back to that time period in my life where all I did was play Rune Factory for two months straight. Well, there's nothing stopping you from playing Rune Factory. You could be like Peppercoy, he was playing the Rune Factory. <laughs> you know what else he was doing? What? Not watching novelists with us. <laughs> Yeah, he gained his knob. He, unfortunately, <laughs> does indeed have a knob. Wait, what? <laughs> He's not knobless anymore. He has a knob. Oh. Wait, how do I even get back up? Supporting. Yeah, I can't believe this. Pepper needs to lose his knob. We watch knobless again. Wait, how do you get back up? Have to. Am I stuck down here? How do I get up? Gotta be a way to like double jump or something. Maybe run jump? Yeah, I don't know how to get back up there. It's the okay. problem. No, I can't. Go Google, old boy. Yeah, how do I get back up there? I don't know how I get up. Can I, like, punch this up? No. Am I just stuck down here? Oh my god, I hate when, like, games do this. Or they're just like, aha, you fucked it up. No way back. No, there has to be a way back. I think I just don't... I think there probably is a way you can, like, power pull. Or you could just die to the bombs and then just, you know... No, there's not even any bombs that could kill me. Like, nobody's Wait, but... dropping any. I clearly see that shit that's dropping the bomb. Lamp oil. Rope? Bombs? You want it? want it? It's, it's yours, yours, my, my friend. friend. As long as you have, have enough, enough rupees. rupees. I have to say, like, no one has commented in forever. <laughs> mm. Whoever's watching the stream is literally just listening to it and saying nothing. I got you, Roger. Oh, wait, you oh, can do, on, like, oh. some kind of dive down here. I wonder if there's, like... Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Ah, now they're dropping bombs. Yeah, I suppose you were dropping bombs. Yeah, but you have to get high enough for it to even register, probably. Oh my god. Yeah, hmm. Yeah, I think you're just... <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna go back to the map. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. What a fucking game, it just soft locks you. Uh... I mean, so does Sonic Mania, and everybody loves that game. <laughs> Sonic Media doesn't swap. Yeah, it does. There are times where when? the boss will just not show up. Oh my god, I've never had that happen. That's happened to me like twice. What the shit? 
So quite frankly, if it's okay for Sonic Mania to do it, then I think people can tolerate it happening in Advanced Adventure. I'm sorry every single game people love is just freaking Dark Souls, because that's the only objectively perfect game. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait till Elden Ring comes out and has flaws. Well. Mm. <laughs> I just don't think Elden Ring will have flaws. How? Oh, how is Elden Ring? Dude, because it's not Dark Souls. It doesn't have the name. Yeah, I have to say, I think Demon Souls is the Dragon Ball to Dark Souls Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Am I wrong to say that? I mean, I think it would have been more popular if... Well, I, I think the original PS3 Demon Souls is that, yes. I think the reason five, the 5 version didn't pop off is because of, you know, Karanga shit. No, I don't know. <laughs> You've been living it! We've all literally been living <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't say that word on stream, can you? Yeah. Current world events. There we go. Yeah, I got you. I, I may have demonetized you with the F-bomb, but <laughs> I'm not going to talk about current world events. Alright, how about hockey? Hockey? Yeah, how about, about hockey? How about hockey? I don't know. What about, what about Pride of Lauren? No, I don't, I don't want to watch Pride of Lauren. Why not? They beat Canada on the first... <laughs> you don't want to ride the Zamboni? Ten minutes! Fake news! I like the implication that just Japan would never win against Canada. Well, yeah, <laughs> they would though, because, you know, Canada's polite enough to just give them the victory. Oh my... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I find that pretty relatable because uh, when I was watching like Tsubasa, I was thinking about like Tsubasa and I like the, the like the, the Japan team they have always reaches like the finals and I'm like that's just not happening. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Japan, you're too overconfident in your sport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, I, I get why, but like, no, that's just unrealistic. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of a little Sayuka Samurai Blue, if you know what I'm saying, when they lost that year. In the in the World Cup, and they lost really badly. Just cause they did a- cause the ZZ did the remake of the Samurai Gun opening for the football team. <laughs> Do you think that them doing a remake of the Samurai Gun opening is what made Japan lose so bad? It might have been. It might have been. That's still- that still astounds me. I would have never found that out if not for KYDB, and he would have never found it out if not for me. Because <laughs> he knew about Samurai Blue, and I knew about Samurai Kuru. <laughs> so we put two and two. And we got news. Yeah, I played KYDB for- I don't know whether to call it ruining or enhancing the, uh, what the fuck was the show Yoko So Jaffery Park is in? Kimono Friends? Yeah, Kimono Friends. <laughs> the opening will never be the same for me now. It was always a banger. Yeah. <laughs> it's a banger, but the KYDB version just trounces it out of the park. Out of the Japari Park? Out of the Japari Park. <laughs> yeah, my sister at the school she taught in Japan, they played a piano rendition of Japari Park. Wow. Yeah, I showed my mom Kimono Friends. She didn't know why it was such a hit. Be that. Yeah. And That's when I say such a hit, I mean with adults. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, how did this air on late night television? <laughs> you 
You imagine like being in Japan and watching fucking Komodo Friends of Four in the morning. <laughs> He's yeah. so comfy. And if you did, you probably also went to like visit the zoo. Like, Imagine like... being depressed Japanese salary man coming home to watch Kimono Friends late at night due to work crunch. <laughs> and then on the weekend, just go and visit the zoo. Yeah, your favorite characters. It's it's incredible. Well, imagine just going to work and realizing that your workplace is just a zoo. Oh. Imagine going to work. <laughs> that's, that's, that's that's the different one. That's like that's a Africa salary man. Yeah, Africa salary man. That's like the don't trust me. <laughs> oh, know. that that was hilarious when like. Sheep was talking about, like, oh, you know, I'm excited for this next season back when it was happening. This is, like, 2019 or whatever. And he was talking to Skrulls about it. <laughs> and then Skrulls was like, why would I ever be excited about a ship <laughs> for a show about an African salary, man? <laughs> and it was just like, why not? Alright, there we go. Oh! Can I make the... Can I make the jump? I made the jump! Alright, good, good, good. I like how he just opens his mouth and then the fucking missile comes out. Yeah, he's, he's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, what a great character. All right. Oh, we're back. We're back at the the death pit. Oh, you did it. Yeah, I passed it. Yeah, my stream is probably lagging. Though. No, no, the the stream always has a delay. I was yeah. gonna do the. I was just gonna stream it in Discord, but it made it really slow, so I did. So I kind of opted out of that. Otherwise, I would have gladly have done it. All right. I feel like I'm taking more damage than Goku actually did when he invaded the Red Ribbon base. Most of them were just like running away in terror. Yeah, I mean, this time, nah, no, they're fucking fighting back. They're Bavi stock too. Oh yeah, I said today that uh, when I streamed, I would bring up O oh, parts, O oh, man. Yeah. So I, this is the point where I bring up O oh, parts, O oh, man. <laughs> I don't think I have anything to say about O oh, parts, O oh, man anymore. Oh, so I mean, there's not much to say. It's only seven minutes. <laughs> Then again, some might say, oh, there's a lot you can say about seven minutes. <laughs> Maybe there is. Yeah. Uh, is Old Parts so Man part of that? No, uh, that's... That's, that's No Parts No Man. <laughs> I'm thinking of, like, another one that's part of what I like to call the... Um, the genre that I don't want to have a name for <laughs> because it's really bad and definitely something that should not be talked about on stream. Mm. Ah, that didn't stop you from talking about Yaoi before. Well, the, the, Yaoi is like not controversial, okay? Like, is it? Gay people. Gay people can just really exist now. It's freaking almost that's, 2022. No, that's cool and all. I'm just saying, though, is Yaoi not controversial? Is it controversial? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Think it I mean, is. ah, it's not. I don't know if Yaoi is something you just want to casually bring up on stream, eh? <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be like a head tie. It can just be like a shonen eye thing. That's not what Yaoi is, though. 
well, should I specify when something's a yaoi and when something's That's a That's just, like, if it, it's B, BL is, like, just, it's just, like, you know, okay, male well, same-sex yeah. romance, but, well, like, I will say yaoi well, I actually is H content. Oh, okay, I, I, will, I will say what I watched was H, so this convo is, you know, pretty meaningless, but I'm glad you clarified that. It's Daijobu, no one's watching this late anyway. <laughs> and if they got a problem with that, I mean... Yeah. What are they gonna do, call the cops? I can watch... You oh, know, I can watch what I want. Well, did he want to watch O Parts, oh man? Did I want to watch O Parts? Well, I don't know if I... <laughs> I don't know if I did, but I certainly did. Look, there's a lot of things that I can't admit to watching on a stream because they get me canceled. It's O Parts, just... O Man, one of them. Yeah, like O Parts, O Man is one of them. <laughs> um, but I don't feel like a Yali or a Yuri would get me in too much trouble if I said I watched one. Oh, how about Cream Lemon? Oh, uh, Cream Lemon would get me cancelled, yeah. How? Are you sure? It's a classic. I mean, Cream yeah. Lemon, maybe not. I, I guess I'm thinking of Lolita anime. If Lolita anime would get me cancelled. Uh, but wait, yeah, how would Cream Lemon get you cancelled if you didn't AMV of it? Yeah, Cream Lemon, it, it's, it's perfectly fine. It, it won't get you cancelled. <laughs> Are you, you should make a list of OVAs that'll get you cancelled. Yeah! <laughs> Let's, top ten. Let's make a top 10 on YouTube. Top, top 10. 10 OVAs that'll get you cancelled. Number 10. You would not believe number 2. <laughs> oh, oh, part so man. Oh, part so man. <laughs> But the thing is, what could you say about them, though, after you put them on the list? <laughs> Nothing. It's just gonna be a list. <laughs> it's just a, 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 like a beep, just saying redacted, like you can't explain why they would get you cancelled. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, guys. This is all I can say. <laughs> I don't want to get cancelled. You just say that like ten times during the video. We we definitely have to wait till I've seen all the two thousands of views because there's definitely a lot of things in that era that'll get me canceled. Yeah, wait till you get to the Shinbo ones. The Shinbo ones. There's literally the big infamous two Bible Black and Boku no Pico. Uh, the Shinbo oh, ones actually did make me vomit. Oh boy. Well, not vomit, but I, I did feel nauseous. That's why I couldn't finish them. They hide. Because they were just, like, really uneasy. Like, and just, like, idiosyncratic. And it, like, really threw me off when I saw them. As long as there's nothing, like, too gross, I'll be fine. Like, I don't think I'm gonna live through Euphoria without barfing, for example. Uh, I don't know. I... I... <sighs> It was just real- I felt really uneasy with that Shinbo one, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was also like five years ago that I watched it. Yeah, there were some parts in like literally Magical Girl Meru where I was just like, eeeh. <laughs> uh, there's some parts in Boot and Monogatari like that. Yeah! <laughs> Episode two, like the like the special sauce. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. I mean, the second time it wasn't as bad, but the first time I saw that was. Uh -huh. The second time wasn't as bad because I brought up how she used the special sauce. <laughs> you, you guys managed to finish. Oh no, she bailed her. on me. Oh. oh. I say that, but he would be very upset if. To hear me say that, considering he just misunderstood me, and that's the only reason. <laughs> poor she. <laughs> poor she. I don't know. She probably makes more money than me. How is he poor? 
good point. Yeah, good point. He's not the one losing his YouTube partnership here. How long have I been streaming now? Oh wow, we've oh, gone up three hours. Oh yeah, Hayden. Glad uh glad you liked the uh, Shinbo's hentai. <laughs> I'm just a very weak soul. My stomach can only handle so much. I am the faint of heart that people say things are not for. That is me. <laughs> I, I, I'm i squeamish too. Like, I don't know how I got through even some of these 90s ones, let alone oh, when I'm gonna Drags, go you're not as squeamish as me. You're tough. Oh, I, I think I'm tougher in terms of, like, really shitty looking art styles, but, like, that's about it. Are you tougher when things are scary? Because I'd say you definitely are. I oh, would be like, oh, that's so sad. And then you'd be like, oh, and what, how do you find that sad? Yeah, but you, you can handle gross stuff better. Like, what is gross stuff? I just can't. I just can't. I mean, I only was able to handle the boot and Monogatari gross stuff because I, I made a joke of it. <laughs> that's legitimately how I handled it. Okay, fair enough. That's because I watched the hit film, Learn To Laugh. Learn to laugh. And I learned. I learned the hard way how to laugh. Wow. Alright, I did it! I beat, uh, was it Commander Black? Races. <sighs> Well, no, he actually, <laughs> unlike the Johnny <laughs> Test characters, he actually is black. Because, you know, what is it, Works. like, Officer White is black in Johnny Test, and then Officer yeah. Black is white. Yeah. Hmm. Imagine racism. <laughs> I refuse to believe Johnny Test is in any way racially prejudiced. <laughs> it's from Canada. Yeah. I, I will say Canadian um, police are not that obsessed with going to Fiji. <laughs> I guess what? <laughs> oh yeah, the secret agents. So 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 like I recall someone said like uh like you know stuff was Fijo bait. Yeah. Instead of Fujo bait, they said Fijo bait because they don't Fijo. know what they're talking about. Shugo, yeah. you might know who that was. That was that was when a uh, red, that red magic guy, that crazy troll guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said it was like Fiji, Fiji, Fijo bait, and Fijo I was like, oh, then what's what's a Fiji bait anime? <laughs> we are going to Fiji. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, well, Johnny Test is very clearly Fiji bait. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I love Johnny Test. I love Johnny Test. I love the Bing Bong Theory. The Bing Bong Theory. <laughs> Bazinga. Amazing. I don't like the Big Bang Theory, but the Bing Bong Theory is amazing. <laughs> oh. so Penny. 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 Bazinga. Bazinga. <laughs> oh, oh my universe. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd is just losing it. Yeah, it's just like one golden globe at the bottom. Man, I'm really tired of these things that look like bots commenting. I'm really worried. Your dreams online. Is that oh, like an yeah. advertisement for next year's release of Sword Art Online? Oh, uh, I think this is Akihito Kayaba. Yes. He's, he's planting the seeds. Yeah, I'm gonna give this user a timeout. You can just say that, yeah. Your dreams online. You crazy? 
Yeah, you die in the game, you die for real. Anyhow, it's time to meet Master Roshi's sister, Fortune Teller Baba. She looks depressed. <laughs> well, can you blame her? Yeah, I suppose so. She's Master Roshi's sister. Yeah, that's another thing people don't seem to know because no one watches the original Dragon Ball. I hate to say no one, but a lot of people don't. Yeah. Is she like uh, an Onesan or an Emoto? Uh, that's a good question. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna open an incognito window here. Fortune Teller Baba. Yeah, see, she's an Onesan, that's why. Oh my fucking god, she's older than goddamn Roji. Yeah. And Roshi is pretty old. Yeah, that's pretty, you know, pretty powerful. Oh wow, we're only at two viewers now. I think someone maybe got offended by me putting that guy in timeout. <laughs> Alright, it's it's Devil Man Sad Boy. I'm Devil Man getting my booty kicked is what's going on. Yeah, you're a Devil Man bad boy. That's making me Devil Man mad boy. <laughs> At least you're not a devil man dad boy. Oh uh, yeah, I wouldn't want a devil man kid boy. <laughs> also, I will say, when I first heard devil man, this is what I thought it looked like, was this dude. I thought that was devil man. Oh, <laughs> uh, actually... Once- once you start hitting this dude, he feels like mad nerfed, bro. Maybe cause I'm playing on easy mode. <laughs> easy mode? Oh, I knew if anyone was going to say something about me playing on easy, it was gonna be you. Emoi. Yeah, yeah, Rags really doesn't like it when I play on easy. You know, just, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> uh, just don't watch me play Galaxy 2 or like New Super Mario Bros. Wii, you're gonna find me using the Super oh, Guy. Oh no, the Super Guy! Oh! <laughs> it's I gonna happen. Roger. <laughs> oh man, I wish every Nintendo game had the Super Guy. No! Oh my god! <laughs> The worst. Imagine Metroid Dread with all the challenge removed because Super Guy. Good, I hate being challenged. <laughs> no. I'm I'm really waiting for the view count. I, I have to find something so controversial without getting me demonetized that would get the view count to go to zero. <laughs> I had to specify without getting demonetized before someone suggests me do something unorthodox. Yeah, like say, you know... Say the hockey word. Words. Yeah. Hockey word. <laughs> <laughs> the word next to Kokuji in, in the Chris Rock video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would never say such a thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah! I'm exchanging blows with question mark, question mark, question mark.
Alright, there we go. I, I still sincerely believe the fighting game mode is the coolest part about this game. Oh yeah, Rags, were you even here when I was in fighting game mode? I think you've only been seeing me go through story mode. Yeah, I did not see the fighting game, just... Well, this the is the fighting game, but this is the uh -oh. story mode part of it. But this is, like, the general layout of how it is. And basically, if you had the cartridge, you know, yeah. that's the thing with the GBA. They didn't have download play, so it was like... But if two Wait, people game. had the cartridge... If you randomly just so stumbled upon a friend who also owned this game, which I never did, sadly, uh, you yeah. could actually play them in the fighting game mode via the link cable. Sadly, I did not, so I had to deal with the computer. Alright. Yeah, it's my Gramps. Yeah, this is who you were talking about. You didn't like Gohan. Oh wait, that was Skrulls who didn't like Gohan. This is bad, I'm forgetting who said what now. Oh, I've gotten Gohan's hat, yo! Alright. Alright, later, man. I'm gonna stop after I get the Dragon Ball, which is after I beat Peel off and his crew. And then I will put an end to the stream. Because I've been going at it for like three and a half hours. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, well, yeah, but no one was showing up for, like, a while, so it was just me talking by myself. Hitori Goto, you know. Well... <laughs> Poor Roger didn't deserve to be Hitori Goto. <laughs> oh, no. Hitori Bochi. I was... I, I was... Hitori Goto. I was speaking, you know, to myself. Hitori Goto. Oh, okay. Uh, I just realized, yeah, this is the European version of this game. Well, it does still work, though, wouldn't it? Because, like, you didn't deserve to be speaking to yourself. Ah. I don't know. I mean, I'm a big kid. I can, I can handle a stream <laughs> all by myself. <laughs> Admittedly, every time I start up a stream, I get, like, this massive sense of nerve. I get, like, yeah. really nervous, and I'm like, oh, should I do this? Is this okay? Yeah, so the interesting thing is, I don't know if you know this, uh, with Budokai Tenkaiji 2, right, the PS2 yeah. version did not include these characters, but specifically the Japanese version of the Wii version had these characters. They had a bunch of bonus characters. And I was always so bummed, I was like, man, why did I get to have the game early, and then I missed out on all these bonus characters. But thankfully, they all got included in Tenkaiji 3, so it didn't matter, really. But it was still neat that they had those bonus characters. <sighs> Darn it. Guy has like a. <laughs> He's got a robo dick shooting. No, the, the nipples too. Yeah, the nipples too. Yeah, it's. it's uh, I forget which one is which. I think Mai is the nipples, but. And then the wolf guy is the. the member. But <laughs> I don't remember. I think Peel Off is the top one. Yeah. Oh, I took the L on that. Let's give that another shot, eh? It's 
As long as I can keep my health above theirs, I should be... Oh, I wonder, can you smack those bombs up? I might be able to. I think you can at the very least smack them over. There we go. Come on, we're making progress. That's what the streamers always say. If you listen to like those speedrun people, they'll always be like, "We're making progress." Making progress. Yeah. Buddha pog, disciple pog. Oh, come on, come on, we're so close. Yes. All right, it's we did it, is. and by we did it, I mean I did it. No one else had any part in this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one playing. All right. The stream is lagged so far behind that it, it's you're still fighting it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I see. I am still fighting it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Alright, yeah, I brought back Bora. Area clear. Well, there we go. Anyhow, that was a fun stream, eh? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna skip through the world tournament, and I'm just going to... Also, wait a second, Goku didn't fight Chaozu in the show. What? What is this? It was Krillin who fought Chaozu. Imagine fighting Chaozu in the show. <laughs> yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> uh, Imagine Chaozu not killing himself. Well, he didn't do that in that arc. <laughs> that was in the Saiyan arc, he did that. Yeah. Uh, well, that was a fun stream. What did you think? Did, did, did I did I do a decent job selling this amazing game? <laughs> it, just, it just looks like the Naruto games. I, mean, I like those, so I probably like those. I mean, let me tell you, you know... I think that, in terms of games that go for a hundred dollars used on eBay... You know, this isn't too bad. Dollars on eBay! Yeah, I didn't realize how expensive the game was until someone on stream mentioned how expensive it goes for. Oh my fucking god. And that's just with the cartridge. If this isn't emulated though, you don't have like a Game Boy player. Uh, I have a Game Boy Player. I'm not streaming it from the Game Boy Player, though. <laughs> Do you have the original cards, though? Yeah. Yeah, I Holy never throw fuck. anything out or sell it, no. I'm like a hundred buck card. <laughs> uh, I think I still have the manual, too, somewhere. It's just the case that I sadly still don't have. Mm. Or don't still have, I should say. Alright, when the clock strikes 3.40, I will end the stream. Uh, we're at 3.39 right now. This is like 3 minutes. Uh, 3 hours, 39 minutes. Holy fuck, that's a long time. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I think... I think it's like, about average for me, right? Yeah, I suppose so. And I'm probably gonna head out now anyway. <laughs> well, uh, can you head out after I end the stream? It's a little yeah, lonely to end wait. the stream by yourself, you know? Yeah. Unless you're saying I started the stream by myself, so I should end it that way. Yeah, that'd be, like, poetic. Maybe I should head out. <laughs> oh, that, but that's just depressing. There's Why no character development in that. What character development do you expect to have right now? Well, think of it this way, right? I start the stream by myself, then I end it being a part of the 
dynamic duo known as the Game Chumps. Oh, I see. I just, see how it is with them. Just, just like how Ego Raptor started being, you know, a Newgrounds animator. And then he became a Game Chump. God, sad. And then he started stabbing all of his Newgrounds friends in the back. Yeah, and now he doesn't even animate anymore, he just does Game Chumps. Just like I don't make videos anymore, I just stream. <laughs> Maybe I really am just Ego Raptor. Am yeah, I going to do crazy. some cringy interview with like some anime staff people? Yeah, we're gonna talk to the guy. Oh, what's the director? Shinichi Watanabe. We gotta talk to him. Oh, <laughs> uh, absolutely. And I'll make a total fool of myself, just like yeah, Ego Raptor yeah. did with Imaishi and Yoshinari. Dude. But the way Shinichi wants an Ave dress is like, is it really gonna be that bad if you make a fool or something? Well, I mean, the thing with Shinichi Watanabe is he's ha he has like a pretty noteworthy reputation at American anime cons. Yeah. Like, he was a well known guy there. Interesting. But, uh, I'm interested in you watching other Shinichi Watanabe, uh, works. Yeah, I mean, spoiler alert, the, uh, Shonen Ai I was talking about was one of them. Oh, was it Gravitation? Yeah, Gravitation! Oh, have you seen the series for that? I haven't seen the series, no. Oh, that's a classic, man. That used to be in all of the AMVs back in the day, bro. <laughs> oh, dude, there was this one AMV from, like, 06 that I still have, and I commented on it, like, back in 2016 again, because I found it again. And I didn't yeah. realize that was gravitation in the... And I saw that those kind- I saw that same clip in multiple AMVs from that point, and I didn't know it was from gravitation. <laughs> yeah, I like the eye catch where they're like, it's gravitation. <laughs> yeah, I, I know Rita likes gravitation. Yeah, what an amazing shonen on. But yeah, that's, uh... You know, it's that's, definitely... uh, that's gravitation. That's gravity. It had a good emoto, but she was only there for, like, two minutes. Well, maybe Even she's sad. in the TV series more. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> I don't know, I've never seen Gravitation, I just know it through the AMVs. <laughs> Maybe that'll be the next thing to watch so that I have my bases covered here. Yeah, Gravitation AMVs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyhow, uh, I'm going three minutes over, but it was worth it to bring up this... To bring up gravitation. That's how we're gonna end the first game. Chubs is fucking gravitation. Well, how do you want to end the first game, Chubs? You know what? No, it's fine. We're just. Oh uh, well, then it, if it is, then you know how I gotta end it. Oh no! The no. Fine Brothers react no. world. <laughs> Son of a bitch! No. Oh. <laughs> oh, good night, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. Oh my fucking god. Good night. Alright.